Hello, Slacker. Doing today? So have you guys ever had one of those things where every single time you hear about it, it just keeps getting worse? Like, what do you mean by hearing it and it gets worse? Like, you... How, how do I explain this? Like, imagine that you hear about this game, but every time you hear new things come out about it, it just keeps getting worse and worse. Like, the news keeps getting worse and worse. That would be Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I was about ready to say that. Well, guess what? That's what Nintendo Switch's online is shaping up to be. Well, here's my question. My roommate is a huge fan of Splatoon 2, and he plays that online, and he says it's really awesome. Prepare to pay 20 bucks a month for it. Really? I, I thought it was, I thought it was less than that. My friend said... No, no, like my 20, roommate, no, no, wait, it's 20 bucks a year. Sorry. That's actually, no. not, like, that's actually not that bad. My roommate was about ready to say that. But what if I told you it's not even worth that? Well, I mean... That, sound, that sounds hard. Oh, well, uh, dude, Nintendo finds a way. Nintendo always finds a way. Finds a way for what? They always find a way to fuck it up. Mmm, sometimes they do good, sometimes they don't do good. Alright, so... Is this like Virtual Boy bad we're talking about, or CDI Zelda bad? It's... It's Wii U bad. Hey, I like Wii U. Wait, what was your issue with the Wii U? No, I mean like... Up until it came out, everything we've been hearing about the Wii U just keep getting just kept getting worse and worse. In fact, the name alone is a good. In fact, the name alone sunk the console before it even came out. It's just Hello. weird. It didn't like people thought it was just an extension to the Wii, and so everyone was super confused about what it was. Yeah. Oh yes, the Wii U. I remember that. 
Oh, I always Captain. Found loop. I always what found that loop. That? I always thought that the Wii U always stood for, like, Wii Ultra. Like, I always thought the Wii U stood for Wii Ultra. That's what I thought. Like, Super Nintendo to, like, Super NES to regular NES. Yeah, well, you're not getting that. You're not getting that with the new online. Because they completely what? got rid of the virtual console now. Yeah. What? Wait, then what's the point of, like, are they going to do, like, gaming compilations? You know, like, saying, like, okay, here's, like, a collection pack. All right, of, so like... you want me to tell you what they're doing? Yeah. They're, gi what? they're giving you 20 NES games with added online play for the first time ever. And guess what? Hopefully... It's not even the good ones. It's not even the ones people care about. Let me pull it, pull it up right now. Because every single one of these games that we have so far... They're either the games nobody cares about or the games you've already played on three other systems. And that's assuming that you bought them legitly and didn't emulate them. So it's just like, okay, here's like Donkey Kong NES, here's Super Mario Brothers 1, here is Ice Climber, here's like NES all the Black Box. And you have, NES era. Okay, here's the 10 that we do currently know of. Soccer, Tennis, Donkey Kong, Mario Brothers... Super Mario Brothers, Balloon Fight, Ice Climber, Dr. Mario, Legend of Zelda, and Super Mario Bros. 3. Okay. That's not I a mean, bad one. Huh? I mean, here's the... Here's like, my problem. None of these games really benefit that much from online play. Do we even know how, we're, do we even know how they're going to do it quite yet? Well, here's I, like Honestly, it doesn't really matter because the game selection sucks. Like... What, what if they, what? Act, like, imagine if they actually came out with a game that pretty much took advantage of the fact that it's online. Something like Contra, or Tetris, or, I don't know, fucking Punch-Out. Punch-Out would probably be the best, that would probably be the easiest thing, because Nintendo actually, actually owns that. Okay, well, here's my thing. I was wondering this. You guys hear me? Yeah. 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 Yeah, so I was thinking, like, okay, maybe what a cool thing would do with the online feature, it would be, like, okay, like, Legend of Zelda and Mario 3, if that's online, like... Well, Legend, Legend of Zelda, Zelda I mean, is like, one Mario player. One, it, like, like, here's the thing. If they did, like, something like New Super Mario Brothers, but with Mario Brothers and no, Mario Brothers 3... No, it's straight... Be, no, from what it looks like, it looks like they're straight-up ports. Then, I still wonder how the online is going to work, though. Like, are they going to be just, oh, you get to play it with people online in the multiplayer modes? Or, like, what are they doing? Wait, so they're not going to add any other games, any other past games? It says it will launch for 20. These are the 10 we know of. And be, and keep them on. These are, the, these are the 10 games they want us to get excited about. And, it's, and they're not going to release any other games. No, they're going to be releasing more. But the fact that these are the 10 that they first announced, it doesn't... First, so... These... So, if these are the 10 that they're going head first with, this is gonna suck. Well, here's something I'm thinking of what Nintendo's gonna do. You know how there's, like, all these, like, classic, like, Sega collection stuff? I feel like maybe Nintendo could do that and just go... Or, like, you know how they did something, like... Oh, here's like the collection of Zelda games or the collection of Mario games back during like the GameCube and the Super Nintendo. Yeah, I they're... think they might do something like that. Yeah, they're not doing that. Instead, they're giving you whatever the hell this is. Also, it's Nintendo Entertainment System. The, no mention of Super Nintendo at all. No mention of any other system. Ooh. I will, I will ask for, you this and, question. No, before you ask that, let me just say this. To anybody saying, oh, well... They're just gonna they're gonna introduce like other systems later. To that I say, if that was the case, they would have called it Nintendo Classics Online and not Nintendo Entertainment System, Nintendo Switch Online. I will it's ask, only I will going to be NES games. Trust me. But what about other cool games? Like you know, like if they did something cool, like you know, they added more games, sort of like you know, like patches and stuff. Like if they did something like that, where they just like. Oh, hey, here's, like, extended levels of Mario Brothers 3, or here's, like, new Dungeons and Zelda, or it, here's... Like, if, they ever had, if they ever thought of doing that, they would have done that during the Wii or the 3DS or the Wii U. I, yeah. I 
probably something during Wii U because they were just desperate for people to yeah. buy it. That's so what. Kept... That's kind of what NES Remix was. Yeah, exactly. I'm just worried that they're not going to put GameCube right. games on there. Oh no, we're past that point. Like it took them three years to get. It took them two or three years to get N64 get. To end everyone saying, "Oh well, maybe it's just hard to get those games running on this." No bullshit. They had, they had fucking. Look, hold on. Let me pull up the actual launch what lineup of the Wii Virtual Console. Alrighty. Oh, by the way, I'm here. Okay, hi, mm -hmm. Marvelous Bros. Hello. While you're doing that, I will just say that at least it's a better packing than One Two Switch. No, you have yeah, to buy Here's like one oh, thing. No, what's oh, the yeah. packing? Like, but it's, a... it's still better than One Two All Switch. Alright, for the but... NES, we got Donkey Kong, Mario Bros, Pinball, Soccer. Yay, Pinball. Pinball. That, 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 that was it for the Wii. No, I wasn't finished. Solomon's Key, The Legend of Zelda, Wario's Woods. Wario's Woods is kind of bad. The last NES game ever? Yeah. Outside of Sunday Funday, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> Super Nintendo. Then on the Super Nintendo, we got two games. We got F-Zero and then SimCity, which got delisted in 2013. So yeah. day day one of the Wii's virtual console, we had Super Nintendo games. Yeah. Oh, and they had Super Mario sixty four at launch too. Oh, that's nice. I think Super Mario sixty four is a little overrated. I think it like I think it's you've overrated. Never, but... You've never played it then. I mean, I did try it out for a bit, and I said, okay, I get it revolutionized the oh, 3D. Oh, two days thing. after launch, Turbo Graphics 16 games. That oh, never yeah, happened yeah. on that never happened on the Wii U. Wait, did it yeah. happen on the Wii U? Uh, let me check quickly. All right, Google Slave, do it. Yeah, um, well, hold on, like, I did Two Sega Genesis there. games. Oh, they're, still, they're still putting Turbo Graphics 16 on the Wii U. Huh. Here's All like right. one thing. I do Battle really... Chopper and Necromancer in like At launch the Wii had Altered Beast and Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Genesis. Well. Like here's the thing. I feel like it would be cool if Nintendo just said, Okay, here's a bunch of classic games. We're all gonna put them. They're all like from NES, Super NES, Genesis, like the You're missing they the have point, more G things on the Switch. You're missing the point. The point is, if they could have those games all done for the Wii's launch, why the hell couldn't they, they have done it for the Switch? Pretty much. He, like, he does make a point. Like, I, I mean, for crying out loud, it launched with a built-in NES emulator. Yeah, yeah it, it did, actually. Really? Yes. Yes. Do, do you ever look at, like, the Reddit or something like that, you know? Just, like... Just like, mm. oh yeah, like, it's, boom, you know? N Despo Boy, that's, Nintendo's nothing like Apple. They're not like Apple. Now they're like Apple. Well, now they're like Apple, but... No! I don't think, like, eh. the creator of Nintendo is gonna die like Steve Jobs, so... The what? Like, you guys are saying that it's gonna you be do, like Apple. You do realize that Nintendo is over 120 years old, right? Yeah. Oh. They started out as a card company. Like, they okay. would make, like, a sheep. Alright, so let me explain why online doesn't really work for some of these games. Uh, Balloon Fight, that's one-off. Like, I mean, sure, I mean, I mean, you could probably do the online of what... It's essentially the same way chess works. Like, you could probably just have, like, an alternate gameplay sort of thing for that. Same thing, with, same thing with Super Mario Bros. and Mario Bros. Legend of Zelda doesn't even benefit with online play because it's only one player. Mm -hmm. That is, like, the biggest question. Like, how would you do Zelda online unless if you're going to, you like, don't. make... That's the thing! What I think... To give them the benefit... You don't need internet to play Legend of Zelda. Here, let me... Let, I'm going to look this what? up as well. The way that this has gone, the way that... They've been doing this online service. I wouldn't be surprised. But 
If uh, they required you to be online in order to play these games? Mm. Well, oh god, they're uh, becoming Microsoft. Well, wasn't there like an issue where like, since a lot of games that were like only connected to online features, like with like the PlayStation Network and it got hacked, right? So couldn't this like lead into another thing, but with Nintendo instead? Online play. You, oh, so this, I feel, is going to really cripple the Switch now. Because up until now, Switch Online has pretty much been for free. And while Nintendo has said that they will be high, they would be locking it behind a paywall at this point. They, I don't think the general consumer realizes that. And as soon as they flip the Switch, I feel there's going to be a lot of people. There's, I feel there's going to be a lot of people playing Mario Kart in Splatoon. That's going to get really angry. Yeah. Mm. Maybe what, they should, what they should have done was that they should have they should have had this ready at launch. Yeah. Bad move on them actually. Yeah, how do they not have an, they how should, do they not have it ready at launch? That's so what dumb. What they should do is keep online play free, but all these other features should be extra as part of the payment. Yeah, I For me of... it would have been I uh, but let's get to the it. worst part of this, the online Switch app. Oh, God, that. That's a thing. Okay, yeah. first of all, every almost everything this app... First of all, the main thing about this is that this is how you do voice chat on the Nintendo Switch. What Nintendo doesn't realize is that it can easily be replaced with Discord. I know. Or in-game oh, stuff with, like, uh, with uh, Fortnite. <laughs> Like in Fortnite on the Switch, you can actually talk to people in game. No, there are. So no, there is one thing I do like. Like right now on screen, they has this thing where Splatoon players get access to this thing where they can actually order gear to use in game. That's actually kind of cool. My question is, why is that not its own app instead of inside this weird what the fuck it whatever the fuck this is? I think they're just convincing more people to purchase the app. Really? Well, I, I think the app is free, though. Yeah, the app, yeah. The app is free. I'm saying that this maybe, Splatnet 2 maybe, thing, it should be its own app. Okay, well, here's, like, one thing that I'm thinking about with how they're doing the service. Isn't this, like, from what I can gather, it seems to be that if you're just going to play, like, Mario Kart and also Splatoon online, you're just going to have that like free but if you want to play like retro games you're just going to have to do this online service that's what i'm getting from the gist of it basically yeah eh. to give them the benefit of the doubt i think they'll um using know, the apps the online lounge you'll be able to send online play invitations blah, 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 blah. everything you can do on skype and discord i'm using discord right now and i find it freaking cool yeah, this, cool. yeah, this this <laughs> app is you, this app is pretty much useless unless you play Splatoon two. Yeah, you're a kid now. You're a squid yeah, now. Yeah. We don't need nah, nah, that. Nah. I'm kid now. Maybe kid. he'll talk about it at I'm the direct. I mean, I'm assuming what's going to be about. If they don't, then I'm out. I'm out with Nintendo. Dude, they have to. They have to. It's launching this month. Yeah, apparently. I think they're going to explain that save, in, like, the Oh, Nintendo my Direct. God. The Save Data Cloud Backup. So, you want to hear the most bullshit thing ever? This is actually the thing that said, okay, I have to do this. I have to do this as, like, a stream. Because Save Data cl save Cloud Backups, it's something people mm -hmm. have been asking for since the Switch came out. And now it's part of this. And... It's a feature on PlayStation and Xbox where it's every single game. Yeah, if you like delete a game, you can like get it back. Is that what you mean? No, I'm no, I'm talking about save data, which is something completely different. Oh, uh, I'm an idiot. Old man yells at cloud backups. But here's here's the thing that really irks me about this. Everything else could probably be forgiven. This, on the other hand, this isn't compatible with some games. The save data cloud backup. You might be thinking, oh, well, I bet it's only a couple games, right? Well, Splatoon 2 isn't compatible with it. Uh, Pokemon Let's Go, P Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee aren't compatible with it. 
Uh, I heard Dark Souls is not going to be compatible with it. So it really comes down to what the hell is the point of this if it's not going to work on the biggest games? If it's not going to work on the games that everyone is playing, what the hell is the point of even having this feature that doesn't even exist most of the time? I'm confused. I'd imagine it's only meant for like... Like indie games, you know, like games that are like small and but like you don't want to take it taking up like um all you know like a bunch of space. I would imagine they would well, be bad, the thing, like, but they haven't really like, made it obvious. There's you know? like so there's like plenty of good. Are you super indie invested games. in your Nintendo Switch game saves? You might want to read this. This is CNET and no, here the fuck off, man. Okay, well, hey, isn't there like plenty of like good indie games out there, like Shovel Knight, Shantae, okay, like this, uh, this yeah. is not to Save Data Cloud Backup now appears in the fine print. Confirmed so far is Dark Souls Remastered, Dead Cells, FIFA 19, NBA 2K19, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, Splatoon 2. Here's my question. Like, some of them have, like, marks, at, like, marked out on it. So what's going on there? I, I don't know. I, I think that might have been retracted or whatnot. Either so way, it's kind of, either way, I think Dark Souls alone is kind of telling. Yeah, mm. yeah why Dark Souls? I mean, it's a pretty big game. Why would they not do cloud backup for it? Especially oh, here it is. Weirdly, the dozen of support references have been removed from Dead Cells and la la la. Perhaps those were listed as a mistake. And apparently but someone on Reddit made a... Someone on Reddit made a list of all the games that doesn't support it. Uh, Dark Souls doesn't have it. Pokemon doesn't have it. Splatoon 2 doesn't have it. Hmm. What about all the stuff that didn't get X'd out and they were listing a bunch of other games like I mean, Mario Odyssey? To be fair, the to be fair, like Xeno Chronicles 2 is like a fairly large game. Super Mario Odyssey. Like, like, the, like, Zelda and Mario, okay, it's good that those have it. Like I mean, also like um Dragon Quest. You know, like, I mean, I don't know what, how big that game is, but from what I can tell, it probably is something that you might want to have, like, on. Yeah, like, to, and Zelda is pretty big. The Breath of the Wild is fairly big. It's like so it makes sense. I mean, it's like, only one, like two, how big? three, four. If only four out of those do not support it, I would not mind. I mean, it doesn't, now, I mean... The big reason I've been hearing about why some of these games don't support cloud saves is because uh, it disallows... <laughs> Uh, foul play, like, uh, basically multiple legendaries, um, Pokemon or something like that, as an example. My counter-argument, yeah. Steam! Steam, yeah. Steam's, Steam's, cool. Steam's cloud save thing, it's enabled on a lot of games, and I've never heard of that. I've heard of it being abused, but I've never heard of that ever being a problem. And if it is being abused, they can just outright just ban the people who are doing it. Or they could take away the, or they could take away, or they could take the away the feature. Like for some reason, on. But yeah, some games. Like, but weirdly enough, some games like Mega Man Legacy Collection say that they support cloud saves, but then it doesn't. It only the high scores do for some reason. Well, mm. question, I thought these things work like DS cartridges, like where it gets saved onto the cart itself. No, instead. like, no, the game itself is on the cart. It saves the save data onto the system, so that if your system dies, all your save data is lost. In fact, there was even... Okay, been, I never knew that. I just thought it worked like the DS, where it's like, you get the chip, like and the chip holds the data. There's even been people who have gotten their, who sent their switches to Nintendo to get it fixed, and then they get it back and their save data is, like, bleated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so which console is the least bad currently? Uh, um, PC. I'd say... Yeah, PC. It, it, uh, it's let's say best. PC. It has cloud saves. Online yeah, is free. Well, PC is... Okay. Well, here's my thing. PC is different. It's basically like its own separate category. Yeah. It's in its own realm. And this because is a so problem good. because? Well, I mean, I'm not saying anything bad on PC, but I thought when it means console, I thought it means, like, it's a box that you plug to your TV. A PC can do that. Ever heard of a home theater? 
now. Oh my god. Home theaters are basically like just PCs that you plug up into your TV and you basically just sit on a couch and you like, here, like I'm gonna sh- ah, here, 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 here. Home theater PC I guess you just think DVD, like, like, like using a DVD PCs. player to your TV. That's yes, what I can you can do that with PCs. Theater. You can do I'm, that with PCs. My problem yeah. is, is that if I download that sometimes that on my computer, I don't have enough room all the time. Like with me, like you using... can uninstall. You can uninstall them. Like the save data is still will still be on your computer. Like when I watch the movie on my like computer, like my laptop, like it worked almost like a theater, but it didn't like have like the same quality as like putting it into the actual DVD player. Your resolution and... probably on your screen. Were you streaming it? No, I just got a DVD from a rental store. It was Wonder Woman. I put it in, and I thought the movie was mediocre, but also the quality on my screen was also kind of, like, funky. I didn't know if it was the DVD or just, like, the... Screen, probably. I don't want the Switch to fail either, Kichu. This is this is more of, like, a thing... This We're doing this out of love. We want Nintendo to succeed, yes, so we're giving we them feedback. Yes, we want Nintendo to succeed, which is why we need to call them out on their bullshit when it happens. This is of course. the top love thing. Hopefully, this, is... this the direct is gonna fix it, but there is. It, it's on September thirteenth, by the way. It's also super dumb that no. the thing is, it's also super dumb that PlayStation is not allowing crossplay with the other systems. But we don't have enough. But we can, there's not enough there to do a live stream on it. Yeah. This we does. Say, wait, well, all that we can do is just say about the PlayStation thing. We just like say for two hours, like. This sucks. This sucks. Just repeating that over and over again. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, it, we would just all be agreeing that this something sucks, and then we wouldn't be just be talking about it. Like, yeah. I mean, the mo prime example is that you cannot make like it's um. Oh. It's, and that mm -hmm. and that's the thing. Like everything I've said so far, deval, like twenty dollars a month, is is actually really good. Yeah, yeah that's actually, the best. No, like no, twenty dollars a, a year. year. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I, twenty dollars a month. That would be stupid. That, yeah, that would make that it would the worst. That'd be like ridiculous. Yeah, PS Plus be like a very expensive version of. Hmm. Well, yeah, twenty dollars a year is not bad at all. Yeah, like it's twenty dollars. It, it doesn't feel worth it. Right, and you know how you said that... But yeah, here's that, my problem. <laughs> Even though it's $20 a year, with all this shit, it still doesn't feel worth it. That's my problem. Can you just ignore it? What, you, what I, like, I think the main problem... If you, like, main problem. if you like playing online on Switch, then you can't ignore you this. Yeah, you can't ignore this at all. Okay, the only thing. And besides, it costs less than getting a new Joy-Con, so there's that. At least I don't have to choose between getting a new game and paying for online. Yeah, like yeah, definitely. If anything, you can when like Pokemon comes out, you have like if you have like a sixty dollars. I mean, I'm gonna be doing like... the uh, Smash Brothers stream when that comes out, so I'm gonna have to pay for this anyway. Yeah, I mean. I mean, I wouldn't mind dropping twenty dollars to just to play online on the Switch. Right. It doesn't. It doesn't really... Honestly, I would say twenty dollars to play Smash Bros. Okay, it's not worth it for Smash Bros. alone, but Smash Brothers, Splatoon, and Mario Kart. Yeah, I can see that. I usually yeah. just play Mario Kart by myself. Mario Mario Kart Online is fun, you know. Can we really? change the screen? No time way, I. I. Switch Online is okay, I guess. Wait, what's so bad about the AI? It's no, because like some at higher uh, speeds, like higher CCs, like the AI can do some like weird stuff. I never, easy stuff. I never actually used an emulator before, but now I'm starting to consider it. If they're not going to release like, all these, this things. announcement alone got people to try to mod their Switch. Okay, how does modding work with the Switch? You know what? I you have no it. idea, but it was incredibly tempting. Well, here's like another like, thing. Even like, Arlo, who's like a bit like even Arlo, as much as I love him, I will I am willing to admit that he is a bit he's of a an Nintendo. He he's a bit of a, he can be a bit of a shill sometimes for Nintendo. Like he does criticize the company when they absolutely need Hey Pikmin. When they absolutely 
yeah, like Pikmin and Paper Mario. But even Hayes, like, hey, the thing that you're replacing the virtual console with, it fucking sucks. It's inviting people to just download all your mod. games and mod, your sw and mod their Switches to play them. Well, hey, you know what? Arlo does kind of remind me like a, like Grover's like yeah. more successful cousin Nintendo. from Sesame Street. <laughs> Nintendo, all I want to do is play Super Mario 64 wherever I go. Not the DS version on a tiny screen. I want to play it on that gorgeous 720p screen that you made it for. Wait, the DS version was the one I tried out when I tried Mario 64 like people, for a bit. People give the DS version it's a bunch awful. of shit. I say it's fine. It, I, I, mean, I, the controls are what ruined it, in my opinion. I think it's superior to the original. In, in some ways, it, it, in in some ways it is, but the original... I don't know. Like, I, There's a small spot in my place for the original. Like, I, I never like, real, like, realized I never grew up with an N64. Honestly... My first console was the GameCube. The only gripes I hear about DS Mario 64 is the D-pad. True. Although, yeah, if, you play, if you play it on the 3DS, that problem goes away, because you can use the circle pad. And the circle pad's yeah. great. Yeah. I wish you could use the uh, little, uh, the little C-stick. That, uh, yeah, I kind of wish that they re-released Mario 64 DS for the you even get a little, get a little, You know, if they used the uh, Marty, Mario 3D Land Engine for that, that would be pretty cool. You know? For, for like now, for, now, I'm also considering. Uh, you want to know what we really need? We, uh, Are we really some like... Mario Hoops three on three? That was a good game. Yeah, I mean, it had, didn't it have new 3ds C stick. We're talking about the new 3ds C stick. I'm just now wondering about like Wii games, like any like the online treatment because that well, was too recent for that. But that's like my haul. That's Dude, like my. Dude, they re-released re Wii games for the Wii U. I don't think it's too soon. And well, we still, and it's still getting Just Dance. Titles. Oh, what character deserves to be in Smash? Um, I, I would. Like, who wants to go first? Uh, so that go? depends. Do you want my crazy answer or my realistic answer? I'll crazy answer first, way. then realistic. Yeah, yeah All let's right. do that. All right, crazy answer: Doom Guy. Ooh. No, honestly, not that. It's actually not that crazy. That could be interesting. Yeah. If Bayonetta can be in Smash, then I don't. I don't see why Doom guy, Doom guy cannot. Well, I'm my thing. My theory, my reason is that like he has guns. Nah. Like uh, uh, Solid Snake really? has guns. No, they replaced all his guns with explosives. <laughs> there, just make it explosive. I or better yet, make, make or better yet, make the effect of the guns more cartoony. Well, yeah, like, more uh, cartoony laser. than they already are, rather. Yeah, like when I'm now thinking of like how Nintendo would handle like Metal Gear, it's basically just saying like, okay, let's just have like a parody of almost like, like my a realistic guess, my movie. realistic guess would have been Simon Belmont, but that got confirmed. So he was actually my I guess. I'm so hyped for that one. I'm so hyped for that one. All right, so can I provide my crazy answer and my more realistic one? Yeah, my plan was to wait for them to. I really want to play P Paper Mario Thousand Year Door again, and I'm, but now I'm worried they're not going to do it. So now I have going to have to probably emulate it. So I'm going to say that my crazy answer is going to be Goku. No, uh, video game characters. Uh, it's only video game characters. Uh, Sakurai is even said. Yes. Sakurai. Sakurai. Um, no, 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 uh, uh, uh. Goku dude. is a manga character. Originated no, from a manga, so he that alone disqualifies him. Sakurai has even said that he's not yeah. going to add anyone that isn't from a video game. Okay, new crazy character. I'm sorry about that. It, it, um, no, like I mean, I don't mind people wanting Goku, but they have to understand that it's just on. There's like a 0.1 percent chance that he had. He has. Yeah, I, know. I know. Like, here's the thing. Like, dude, if plus it would be kind of stupid. Like, that's if, that's part of the re. But the thing is, I actually do. Part of my predictions are I look at what the company's relationship is with Nintendo itself. That's why I feel like Doom Guy is po possibly has the best chance for a Western representation, mostly well, because yeah. of how because Doom's gotten ports on the Super Nintendo. They 
had it was there was an point. entirely new Doom. Doom sixty four was an was an entirely new game built from the ground up. There was a Doom port to the Game Boy Advance, and of course you have the you have Doom and Doom Eternal coming to Switch. Plus the fact that Bethesda has a very good relationship with Nintendo now and Nintendo. Well, here's my question. Right, with the Bethesda, go. like with the Bethesda people, I was thinking about like, okay, what about the Skyrim person, the Dragonborn? Oh no, honestly, I think Doom guy's a bit more yeah. iconic, and they go more for the iconic characters. Yeah. Mm. Like uh, Simon yeah. Belmont and Richter. Exactly. Dude, I am going to main Richter. Okay. Like, I, that's like, I kind of uh, like Richter a little bit more. He's got more personality. Same here, but also it was a little sad Yo-Kai. that Alucard didn't make it as... Send your like, apples, Yokai, whoever you want to be called. I'm, I got... It. Just because Goku is in a game doesn't mean he is automatically qualified to become a Smash character. He is an anime you character. You want to know who's be in Smash? SpongeBob! Yeah, like... Yeah, he's like... He's like, they both... in like, here, I think... What like, would you um... say if Doom takes place before Kirby? I... Kirby takes place in entirely another dimension. Okay, does this mean I have to do more, like, timeline conspiracy and try to, like, figure no, out the continuity no, again? No, Because you know I'm a continuity person. You never have to be like, that retarded again, dude! Why? Because I was trying to connect, like, comics, movies, and an animated version of the X-Men all together into, like, one single continuity and just try to think of, like, any, like, retcons. It was just, like just like a misunderstanding or just a different person's point of view until eventually I figured out, oh, it's just different continuity altogether. That would be like making a timeline for Zelda. You don't do that. They did. Yeah, there, there is an official timeline. All right, um, then it would be like making a timeline for Sonic. Actually, I was trying to figure that out. Like, I actually think I did that. Actually, no, it's more like trying to create a timeline for Mario. Oh, yeah, true. Like, like what Movie Bob yeah. tried to do? Wait, okay. Wait Game Theory also tries to do that with yeah. everything. Right. In fact, I, I can totally imagine him doing Theory about Dusty before Doom. Yeah, wait, so do you want to hear like, my choices for Smash? Yes. Okay, so my craziest choice would probably, and this is realistic, which means a video game character for real, I would say Hades from Kid Icarus Uprising. Hmm. Alright, that's interesting. Sakurai de- 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 developed like one of those games, so it does it makes sense why he would probably add yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, you put Dark Pit in um, Wii U. I really want them to make another Kid Icarus game. The last Uprising was really good. I know, right? And the Hades thing is, was a good part my cr- with that. The thing is, my realistic choice would have been Shovel Knight, but he got deconfirmed. I know that was like yeah. my realistic choice. So now I'm going for like Minna. My realistic choice is uh, Shadow. As an Echo Fighter, or just his own character? Then you're just gonna have guns with him, like he's just a gun person. Not as an Echo Fighter. Not as an Echo Fighter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All you just need to do is just have, like, Evanescence music for his trailer. Oh, no, I mean, can you see? To my eyes, like open doors. I just, every time when I hear that song, I just think Jennifer Gardner slicing up sandbags in a dark room. With Wait, what? <laughs> what? Have you ever? What? Why would you have that visual? Have you ever seen the 2003-2004 Daredevil film starring Ben Affleck? Wait, that's in that? Yeah, that's where I heard, like, that's where I think I it first appeared. There was a music video before the movie on the VHS started, and then for the actual scene, they actually had Jennifer Gardner, who was playing Elektra, she was, like, doing a training montage with the music, with playing, like, Bring Me to Life from Evanescence while she was slicing up sandbags in a dark room while she was training. All right, they're going to put a new stage in Smash based off of that scene. Except Actually, you know what? How game. about this? How about you guys give me... Because I've got a system in my head. How about you guys list off characters and I'll tell you how likely they are to be in Smash? Waluigi. You know what? There's a theory going around that uh, 
he might actually have a chance of getting in because nobody has seen Waluigi be an assist trophy in any of the other gameplay footage. Like, so oh, no, no, I thought he did see him. Like, in the reveal trailer, we only saw him in, like, the reveal trailer. Like, at E3, nobody said that they saw Waluigi come out of an assist trophy. Wait, does that mean that Shovel Knight could possibly be in? Well, no, 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 Shovel Knight isn't a... I mean, there was a thing going around saying, like, there might be a hybrid fighter, so it means, like, there, a but fighter the could have But the theory with Waluigi a... is that... The thing about Waluigi is that he's a trickster. He is that he's a trickster, and so... Mani and so manipulating people's expectations for Waluigi would be kind of in character. Alright, so here's the thing. I don't think Nintendo's that, yeah. well, they, they're, they're that smart. What about Sakurai they might be, though. You never know. Yeah. Might, says, they, you never know. Yeah. It says, though, maybe. Sakurai. So the trailer for Waluigi is going to start off like this. Wait, hold on. Goku I think of Sakurai. Is Waluigi focus over that's the trailer. I think of Sakurai as basically being like Nick Fury, but for Smash Brothers and Nintendo. Well, the thing about Sakurai is that he's kind of a madman. Like, if people want a character hard enough, he'll do his best to put him in. That, that was the whole purpose of the Smash Ballad. So anyway, let's just see some more character. What about a Yokai Watch God. character? I have eh. a feeling there's going to be eh. some Yokai Watch in Smash. I don't think there's going to be enough to have like a playable character. Like, Oh, yeah, there's, there's nothing. maybe a trophy or something. Maybe an assist trophy, but it probably will at just most, be a Jibanyan. assist trophy at most. Jibanyan, right. but he probably doesn't do anything that he's in the game. He just okay, plays right, around. I have, I have he does nothing, one. like the like the series has done. So I have a good one. A uh, rabbit or Rayman. Assist tro trophy is find. Oh God, I need the assist trophies. Oh, uh, let's see, rabbits. Uh, because uh, Mario vs. Rabbit's Kingdom Battle happened. Yeah, I could see them as the I could see them being an assist trophy that's revealed late assist trophy. before the game releases. Uh, maybe that, oh, definitely a trophy. Okay, I see one dude saying that he would like to have Macho Man Randy Savage. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? Mods. I'm just gonna say it. Mods. Mods? Ooh, yeah, yeah, mods. I'm fishing for a fight, brother. Oh yeah, bro. Have I ever? Have you guys ever that seen? Paper, I thought brother. Have was you guys ever seen the paper? How many of you have seen the Paper Mario playthrough on the channel? Yeah. Yeah. I oh saw my it. god! So, so apparently, what Dan was doing was an impression of Macho Man Randy Savage and not Louis Armstrong. <laughs> Okay, here's my question. What about Rayman? Like, because me, I remember good memories of me and my little sister playing the later Rayman games together. Um, what? Well, if Me- Maybe. Let's see, Mega Man made- Let's see, Mega Man made it, Simon made it. If not this one, I expect it maybe as DLC, but I feel it's a little bit too late to get people hyped up for Rayman. Alright, another one. Uh, I- yeah. But here's the thing- Here's the thing, though. Now that I say that, I just remembered that Ubisoft actually sent in the model. Like, the model that of Rayman's trophy in Smash for Wii U and 3DS. Ubisoft actually made that and sent that to... They made that and sent that to Sakurai. So, I have a feel, So, they're more... So, Ubisoft is more than willing to lend Rayman to Smash. It's really up to Sakurai. Yeah, it just... It just seems... I mean, and they put, they put him said, in as an assist trophy. Somebody said Persona. Eh. No, you know, I mean, I'd, I don't know. know. Like, to that, I, know. Would, I would say that... I have the feeling that... So, I would have a feeling that if there was going to be any Persona character, it would probably be from Persona 3 or 4. Because I feel like 5 is too recent, and I feel like 3 and 4 have a lot more popularity outside the States. Alright, I have one. Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Eh, not much of a good You know chance. what? I don't think so. If, Cl if Cloud can... Keep in mind, Final Fantasy VII never launched at a Nintendo system. If he can make it in, so can Sora. Well, here's my thing, Like The issue with Sora is because he's usually hanging out with Donald and Goofy, and if they open up... That they all, uh, they also have to go through Disney. Yeah, that's and the issue. And I don't issue. think Disney... And Disney 
probably owns partially owns so Sora. Yeah, so. That, that's a good point, actually. Probably. Yeah, but like, here's my look. issue. If, if that's the yeah. case, then that means like we would have also Han Solo, Luke Skywalker join the fight because you're opening no, not really. characters. No, 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 no. I, Mr. Marvel, I don't think you somebody are understanding said, this. Somebody said they had to be from a video game. And had to originate from that video game. Star Everyone Wars shut is up. completely Kachu, out of the original. Kachu suggested another character. Shut up, guys. He said Phoenix Wright. Well, Phoenix Wright was a playable character in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. It's not It's not unheard of for him to have a move set. You probably just tell... And honestly, I you. am kind of expecting there to be a third Capcom main. Yeah. I think anything, I think Morgan from Darkstalkers, since she's pretty popular, even though she's mainly now just in the crossover game, she's usually a pretty popular character. Yeah, actually, okay, I have another one. I was thinking maybe, maybe I was actually Evil. thinking maybe Resident Evil or Devil May Cry for, like, the third Capcom. Oh, like, Dante would be actually cool. Yeah, like, you, you could have Dante and then maybe Nero could be, like, an Echo Fighter. I have like... Like, think about, like, if Dante had, like, a trailer, like, Microsoft his trailer left. is lit. Well, Phil Spencer said that, they'd, that he would be fine with Banjo and Kazooie being in Smash. And I think Al Relax Alex said that Sakurai wanted to put them in Melee or something. So, you never know. All right. Uh, okay, here's a question. What, what about Sans and Papyrus? No. 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 Like, what's so bad about that? They're actually pretty good, and plus... Cringy. <laughs> no, plus not, even, not even that. Like, I don't think... It, would fit the, it wouldn't fit the tone of the game. I could see Sans... Pot, at most, I can see Sans being a assist trophy. But Probably that's about it. assist trophy. But that's about Definitely. it. Yeah. Dude, if Shovel okay. Knight can't be... A, if, Shovel Knight got, if Shovel Knight got deconfirmed, Sans got deconfirmed. Okay, yeah. Well, Here's another indie. Here's another indie choice. So I was. I was you got some echo. Hey, hold on. Yes. Yes. Sorry. What's going on? Oh, whoops! Sorry. That's me. Oh, okay. It, it's my Here's own. my suggestion. Baby Rosalina. No. But come Just on, no. you're the best character. No. Just no. Just no. Like, no, don't be don't don't be silly. Just. Don't. Right, okay. I, 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 like, Daddy's cummies should be in oh. Smash. That no. is a sentence. That has been said. By someone. By Fuzzy Dude 64 Okay, here's like one thing I was thinking, like since Shovel since Knight... when did this turn into a Smash stream? Yeah, like... Here's like another thing I was thinking, like... So you know how Shovel Knight didn't make it in, and he's like, like one of the two biggest like indie characters related like to Tank. Nintendo. Honestly, yeah. Minecraft Steve has a be better chance of getting in than most of the characters that we're talking but about. What would be his move set though? Steve, um, wait, I think I do. I would imagine like he has the ability to like build blocks if you do yeah, like down B. Down B. Down oh, B. Yeah, he can and like you can, can and, and if he heals. He can um, spawn trees like villager and chop them down for wood. No, no, like the tree would just stay there because even if you top ch chop down like the bottom block, they won't fall down. I have an idea. Maybe what he can do is like maybe he can also Here's like write thing, a page. Though. Minecraft is owned by Microsoft. Yep. And Microsoft has gone on out of the way to make a crossplay trailer with Nintendo about uh, Minecraft. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that they're gonna lend them the characters to. Like, I'm honestly shocked that they, that Phil Spencer said, "Yeah, we'll put Banjo and Kazooie in Smash Brothers." But PS4 is the best place to play. No, unless you like playing with your friends on Xbox. Yeah, PS4 is the greatest. Yeah, totally. Yeah, we're totally for the players, it, except those PS2. Xbox people. Fuck them. And Nintendo. Yeah, starting to believe more and more in the PC Master Race. I don't like that red guy. Yes, that red join guy us. Sucks. Join me and Slacker. All right, join us. Chalice, do you have... So, Chalice, Crash what? is out. Name a character and I'll rank how, how likely they are to be in Smash. They have to be a video game character. Yeah, it has to be a video game character. Well, I'm going with choice number two, Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah. Just because uh, I don't like 
Yeah. I already said that. I, Echo, Echo Fighter for Sonic, definitely. I think that's going to be the one of the next Echo Fighters revealed. Uh, Tails? Skull no. I feel like Tails would need to have a completely different move set. Skull Kid? Okay. I Skull Kid has a really high the hedgehog thing in shadow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One at a time, guys. One at a time. Skull yeah, kid. we're past our limit. I'd rather have Silver the Hedgehog in than Shadow. I just find Shadow's more popular. It's, it's it's so and nobody much. else ever. I like Silver now, but uh, yes. like you have to admit that um, like, he is on like like really popular because uh, like he didn't really appear much. All he appeared like his only notable. No, thing Damon was, VR said, "I'd love this. I'd love to see Shantae. Sadly, I don't think she'd make it as an actual fighter." You know what? I'd yeah. love to see her too. Like way for the guys at Way Forward, the guys who developed Shantae, they actually made when they were do like when the Smash Ballot was a thing, they made an actual move list for her and said, "Hey, this is how this is how Shantae can work in Smash. Put her on the list, guys." Uh, I feel like if there was any other indie character that had a shot, it'd probably be Shantae. Yeah, and even then, Shovel Knight was decided um, decided to be an assist trophy. Yeah. It's a shame that Cuphead probably won't be in the game because I, like, no, no, no. Well, for one I, thing, I think Cuphead has an watch. exclusivity contract with Microsoft. Yeah. Oh, really? I thought that they might port it eventually, like how Undertale was ported. Well, the thing was, Undertale wasn't console specific. It was PC Undertale exclusive, was, and then it went Undertale everywhere else. One dude. Yeah. Undertale First with like the PS4, dude. then with the P, then with a uh, Switch, and I think now with Xbox, I think. Yep, Shantae would be amazing, and her moves that could easily be. Should mushrooms smash. give us powers? Should mushrooms get? I thought they already do. Like, you eat one, and Tell then you can see through time. And space. <laughs> Wait, what about? Oh, so big. Wait, what about Toad? Oh my toad? God, I'm huge! But really, you're just looking down at everything. <laughs> Like you're moving why really. Why is everything so Why is that guy look? Why is that guy looking at the ground and moving slowly? Wait, you, like. Oh my gosh, you're all tiny. Wait, what about Dixie Kong? Uh, Not yeah, like Dixie City. Actually, I feel like Di I feel like Dixie Kong would be a good echo for Diddy. Like yeah, so same here. Yeah, um, I I also um think that Isabel would make a good echo fighter for the villager. Uh, I feel I like agree. I feel like they would Isabel. add Isabel because that would be another that would be a second Animal Crossing rep. I feel like she and would Isabel have a different. Really I feel popular. like she would be a different character though, if if not slightly different. Well, there is, there is like a whole bunch of items in Animal Crossing. Nothing Keep in mind, Mario and Doctor Mario are listed as two different characters. Yeah. Right. Um, what about honestly, Crash Bandicoot? I feel like no. Mario should be Mario's Echo Fighter, but it's already too late. Spyro. No, it's yeah. dude. If, if Crash can't get in, neither can Spyro. Wait, why well, can't Crash, Crash be in Smash Brothers again? The reason why Crash in. can't get in is because they're owned by Activision. Activision doesn't really have that great of a relationship with the Nintendo. Case closed. Activision. Even if I feel like even if Sakurai what? wanted them in Smash, uh, Activision would say no. The dude from again, Assassin's um, Creed. Zeno. Zeno, who? Gino uh, from Super Mario RPG. Oh, Gino. Oh, I thought you said it's Zeno. How I mean, many, okay, um, how many fucking people suggest that character have actually played the game? Probably none. Exactly. One of my fr old what? friends. I feel like if you haven't played the game, you shouldn't game. suggest it. Mm-hmm. My friends are complete Nintendo apologists. Like, they are, uh, like, fully worried. behind Honestly, this. I just really like to see, um, dead characters revived from the dead, really. Uh, you know what? Oh, I so kind of want like Gino to be in Smash only for that, only for those people to say, wait, what the fuck is this? We wanted Gino. And then I can say, well, you fucking got him. What did you expect? He did, he does. Dumbledore? What did you expect? The Adams family? Okay, what would be a stupid magic fighter? Super magic, 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 magic fighter, fighter? like super magic fighter. as in what? Like as a in, move like set? any uh, character what? ever? Like who d uses magic? Give me Vivi the... from Final Fantasy IX. Um, that game is great. The Black Mage. Vivi, the Black Mage from Final Fantasy IX. Great character. Uh. All right, random interruption. Uh, let me let me post this picture in the live chat. 
I actually heard like some rumor about like Terra from Final Fantasy VI might be in the game. Like I heard that somewhere. So here we go. This is an actual video watching it though put up. Dude, oh, it's not supposed to be a, a moral based show. We all know it's a comedy that's just for fun. My, Why? Question, my you know question something? is what how does this relate 22. to Nintendo? All right, I'll, I'll I, it. Actually, my I'm question is... I love Team my, Go. I was going to make a Watch Mojo joke. Like, they've really hit the bottom yeah. of the barrel this time. Wait, what did Watch Mojo do? Top 10 that bad lessons Teen Titans Go teaches kids. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. Okay, Teen Titans doing. Go is actually good. Did, 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 Ding did, dong. Did, did they hire Mr. Enter to make that one? Mr. Enter is the one that corrupts <laughs> the innocent. Mr. Enter watch Mojo video, that'd be great. Yeah, we should just do a Watch Mojo live stream along with the live stream of, like, was that real in comics? After the Monday Matt stream. Wait, isn't, isn't, uh... You know you're not supposed to say his name online, he has Google alerts! For cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. So with MM, since I can't say his name online or else Google it's a joke. will hunt me it's down. A joke. No, it's a joke. No, but, but we'll at just the same call, time. We'll just call him Philip DeSoilo. Oh, hey, right, so with Philip like DeSoilo, box of Yu -Gi -Oh like here's the thing. Like, didn't he, like the most infamous thing I heard is that he was looking for boulders. Like that was the no. most infamous oh. thing from him. No, that was an excuse that he used on why he didn't flag people. Looking for boulders. He is he is Steve from Minecraft. Yeah, no. mis, like the Mr. Manicor video where he talked about that. He basically photoshopped he fit he photoshopped Philip DeSoilo's face on Minecraft Steve. <laughs> well, here's like one thing that Philip DeSoilo, like I actually met a guy in real life that looked like Steve from Minecraft. Like, he literally looked like Steve from Minecraft. How like, likely is Darkseid Phil to make it in Smash? <laughs> Final Smash, Rage Quit. Dude, like, no, I mean, um, no, it's Final Smash, deleting so the game itself. Actually, speaking of which, <laughs> uh, Pen from Street Fighter. I can see him as an Echo Fighter to Ryu. Oh, yeah. Ken? Yeah, Ken. yeah, yeah, Ken. He has a good chance of making it in. Like, you know, it, it'd literally be a palette swap. When you think about it, Ken was the original Echo Fighter. Yeah. How about Birdo as an Echo Fighter for your show? No. No, that Actually, be, Birdo uh, could be a good character. I think so. Yeah, nah. but then there's like the. the Dude, if Daisy guy. can make it, so can Bert. I feel like Birdo would have a slightly different moveset. Yeah. I feel like it, it, it would ride like that weird line between new enough. character and Echo Fighter. Like Rick, Toad? No, not Richter. Like, uh, like basically any other clone. Well, not clone, but Echo, really. Captain Toad? Chalice, why nah. are you showing us your garbage? No, it's a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Birdo got a penis! Like he said! Like he said! Look, I, I believe in the heart of the cards crap as a kid. I don't blame you for this. Actually, I think I read a post recently about what the heart of the cards actually was. Yeah, what's the heart of the cards? Apparently, in the, fin in the final episode of Yu-Gi-Oh!, it's revealed that the Millennium Puzzle's power is to will cards to the top of your deck. So the heart of the cards- oh, so Yu-Gi-Oh! was cheating the entire time. Yeah, the heart of the cards is really just him cheating. I have no clue so what's pretty... going on. The heart so of the wait, cards so... is cheating! Okay, I never <laughs> grew up with Yu-Gi-Oh! So he really isn't the king of the- King of Games. Oh wait, never okay. mind. Okay, they'll, they'll, they'll probably make a joke about that. Yu-Gi-Oh bridge. Okay, I have no clue anything about Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, realize I'm a guy who never grew up with Pokemon, so Yu-Gi-Oh is, is something I'm also not familiar with. I don't know. Like, what, oh, what you said? It's a show about teenagers playing a children's card game. Fuzzy dude says that's a power. That's a good power to have, though. Literally, everyone was cheating too. I. You ought to be sent to the Shadow Realm, Mr. Marvel. Well, you guys do not know, like, the realm I am from, which is basically movies, comics, and other games. Yeah. People are saying Sonichu. Dude, just mod the game. Okay, well, wait. Sonichu what about if they put us in? Like, what if they put us uh, in? Like, actually, you, you know, know what? Like, which... Hey, Captain, you know what? I can see Liquid Snake being an Echo Fighter. Hmm. Actually, that would be cool. Because Otacon, I don't... Otacon is... 
I don't know how Otacon would even work in Smash Brothers. Liquid Snake, on the other hand, like, just changed how some of his moves work, and you got a good Echo Fighter. Big Boss. Big, oh, Big Boss would be a perfect Echo for Snake. Big mm. Boss is better than Snake, in my opinion. I'm just going to the guy from the Revenge Revengeance. Raiden? You know what, they got... You know what, hey, uh... Konami's on board, Platinum's on board, why not? What if they uh, make um, Raichu and I go fight a Pikachu, and then we could have the entire evolution chain? Yeah, I mean, I would honestly like to see the whole evolution chain of the. I of mean, the I thought Pikachu. Raichu was. Oh, I thought Raichu was in the Pokeballs. No, um, sure we no. have a Lonin Raichu in as a Sif trophy, but I'm. Who the fuck like, wants to play as Liquid when you can play as Kojima? He was in the game. He was in video games too, you know. Yeah, technically. No, oh, what happens? No, when you select Kojima, what he does is that he delays the game for three years. No. <laughs> but oh but I'm already playing it, you say? <laughs> Too bad, he says. No, Proto Man got deconfirmed. Yeah, he, he was, oh, he's yeah. Uh, in the final smash, smash, and, and, uh, um, and uh, an assist trophy. Yeah, Proto Man Double would have been a, a perfect Deco Fighter for Mega Man. I know. Like, I mean, so, they could have played around with the shield, you know, like kind of have a, how like uh, links works, you know, with uh, you know, like it will constantly if if like there's a projectile, it'll block it. Maybe constantly. get Rex from Xenoblade Two as an Echo Fighter or Shulk. Actually, you know what? That no. was gonna be. I just remembered, like, yeah, Rex from Xenoblade Two. That was gonna be my realistic choice because they already got Shulk. I feel like, I feel like Rex would have two different of a move set to be an Echo Fighter or a Shulk. I feel like that's gonna be like a whole new character. Not familiar with Xenoblade 2. Oh, you, Xenoblade's possibly one of the best modern RPG franchises. You gotta play them. Um, what if... Okay, um, okay. Uh, what I if heard Xenoblade uh, 2 was eh. Uh, Etika cried, apparently, while playing it. Question, can I add in, like, more Castlevania characters, or nah? I'm surprised we already got Simon... I, I'm shocked that we got two Castlevania characters already. You yeah, know who? Um, uh, Captain, I don't think you realize what. Well, the thing about the thing about Echo Fire is it's really just a palette swap. Okay, yeah, it's basically like it's basically just it's the same person just copying the same moves, sort of like Ganondorf literally copies off Captain Falcon. Yeah. Um, how likely would an Octoling be for an Echo Fighter of the? Inkling? Very, very likely. Pretty likely. I mean, uh, I would say, already, in fact, that's the game. one of the biggest consensus is that I feel like if they don't get added in, at, I feel like they're going to be one of those characters that they don't un necessarily announce until after. Because I remember when they were revealing stuff for Brawl, there was stuff that they held until after the game came out. Yeah, like back then, no one leaked everything to that. The game... You know? Yeah, people actually had to find out for themselves. So I feel like there's gonna be care. I feel like there's gonna be stuff that they don't announce in the directs that we have to find ourselves. I have a theory. I have. There's a no Emily Rogers just to constantly say, "Oh, I have sources." You know, I can I can tell you whatever was what what's in the game, but. Nah. Would you guys like to hear my theory about like some Honestly, Emily Ro characters? <laughs> Emily, Ro uh, Emily Rogers Cloud can take a hike. Dead. You're telling me a pot Sakurai. Tommy Wiseau. Like Rogers yes, can take a hike. Tommy Wiseau for Smash Brothers. No, Tommy like, Wiseau. So, Tommy was so voice pack. <laughs> oh yeah. my god! Like, wait, hold on. You know how like some people. Oh yeah, they like, should, do, like, they should make that for Dota. Like, yeah. You know how oh my god! Do, like, the Dota too? video was one of the best things that Valve ever made. What the? And the stage for the room. Was voiced by Gilbert Godfrey. You know something? I kind of like how it turned from like a stream on bashing on Nintendo to endless praise of Nintendo. <laughs> no, it's more like endless praise for Smash Brothers rather than Nintendo. It's more about us wondering who they're not gonna put in, really. Yeah. Putting okay. that from Dusty into Smash. Okay, well, can I share a theory that I have about like some DLC characters like after? Yeah, really. Dude, if you put if you put Matt and Dusty in Smash Brothers, it's gonna get an M rating. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be perfect. Yeah, I'm surprised that Smash Bros. already pushed a T-ring with Solid Snake in there. 
Yeah, no, for every time they swear, it's just bleeped out or replaced with like a random sound effect. Represent. No, every time Dusty swears, you have a little ESRB in the corner that keeps going up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like... Oh yeah, like, uh, that is screwed. Alright, I gotta go. I'll see you guys later. Like, it goes from E10 to T to M to A O. Mm -hmm. to, to Has the game ever been related at all, Tony? No. Yes. No, uh, the, hi no. the highest it's been yeah. was, is teen. Tommy Wiseau's ultimate is throwing a giant football onto the stage, his, and his projector is uh, water bottles. Maybe he has a ranged attack with a voice like Jigglypuff, but it's him yelling, cheep, 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 and knocking people back. Have you ever seen The Room, The Game? I I've oh, seen yeah, it, I've never that. played it. Oh, um, would Gooey make a good echo fight for Kirby? Gooey? Oh, yeah, Gooey would be a good choice. No, he, well, his Not name, good. no, Tommy Wiseau's weapon of choice would be Spoons. <laughs> no, but Gooey um, basically does everything that Kirby did in Dreamland 3 and and I... in um, um, uh, Star Allies was basically like a weird Kirby Dreamland 3 moveset combination. Hey, I love Dreamland 3. The Dust Off Gaming Guy. <laughs> okay, well, anyway. Really? I like, with Tommy Wiseau, his final smash is he takes all the characters on the stage and they all just watch the room. And? How about Neo? Neo I don't, I don't think Smash Brothers can run that game. Wait, question. Neo from The Matrix? No, like Neo the game. Oh, I was thinking, like, wait, are we putting Keanu Reeves in, and then, like, Agent Smith is, like, an like, enemy He's stage He's not a player, video game character. Goes... Well, I mean, when you think about it, Matrix is basically almost like a video game. No, it isn't. I mean, the effects make it look like it. Captain but, N, the game master. No, there's no chance they're putting that That's in Smash movie Bob Captain N, the game master. Captain movie Bob. The game the master? Game. Oh, wait, you know what? They should just Someone have get Magic Actually, Player. you know what? I would be amazed if they made a Captain N reference in any Nintendo game at all. If you have all the characters from that show active at once, it, the intro to the match becomes the Captain and the Game Master intro. They should remake Captain and only have the characters actually be like the, how they're supposed to be. Mega High! <laughs> <laughs> I love Mega Man's voice and that's so much. It's, it's like, so like, stupid. It took a bunch uh. of cigarettes. You gotta it's make a move it! He smoked a whole bunch of cigarettes! And somehow it's still better, and then somehow the new cartoon is still better than Captain N. Well, here's, like, one thing. If they did, like, Captain N nowadays, it should just have, like, one retro kind of gamer and one younger kind of gamer, and then they just, like, go into different, like, video games and say, oh, hey, Breath of the Wild is out, buy Breath of the Wild. Or, hey, Mario Odyssey's out, buy Mario Odyssey. It's just, like, a promotion. It's basically a glorified commercial. Is that what Captain N was? Like, what the original was. Well, I mean, the characters don't look any different, so it's just, like, separate continuity, and I, this, like, I didn't know about Captain N until I was 12, so I wasn't as obsessed with continuity then. I realized it Oh, just, as, a, it just as opposed to um, now? Oh, wait, I just realized, um, this may sound a bit stupid, but, um, what if Mega Man Zero was Mega Man's Echo Fighter? Um, not, not Zero, um, the one from Zero's the an Mega assist Zero series. Yeah, Zero's an assist trophy. Honestly, no, I feel- No, that was his X design. I'm talking about Mega Man Zero. Mega Man X Zero is in, like, no, the, Mega the, Man the final Zero. smash. Oh, you mean the Zero from, like, the Zero games? Yes. Oh, well, they Zero. have the, they have original Zero, so I don't think they would. So Mario is it, has- Is it Zero himself. part Link of Mega Man's moveset? That's yeah. doesn't really matter because there's like three links in the game. Uh, one How long do we have to wait to get Groose and fucking Smash? Mm, well, here's like one thing. What about Groose Minna? Groose lets loose. What about Minna? Uh, I don't really see a move set for Minna. Assist trophy, maybe. Unless they incorporate Wolf Link into it. Garaham? Garaham? Mm, no. Yeah, no. 
Tangle. Uh, wasn't oh, he God, already? No. Uh, he was in Melee. Tangle's he was the assist trophy before assist trophies were a thing in Melee. They had assist trophies then? I, n I never played Melee. I played Brawl Oh in my Wii god, game. why are you here then? Well, I love Smash with the Brawl. I mean, I just don't have a GameCube. That's the issue. You don't need a GameCube. There's, there's, there's Smash It's called Smash Project Brawl. M. No, it's called Project Dolphin. Dolphin. Is Dolphin a good emulator? Yes, it's an incredible emulator, actually. Okay, so I have a theory about DLC. You want to hear it? Yes, sure. Okay, so you know how they showed like some of the assist trophies? Like they said, assist trophies could be KO'd yeah. now with hitting them. I have a theory that it, like after the game's locked, they said, hey, if you really, really love some of these assist trophies, i.e. Shovel Knight, Waluigi, also Alucard, or any of them that can be KO'd, then would be like, okay, now you can buy them. That's the whole selling point. What? Like, do you think that could be a thing? No. It, it's, that sounds really dickish. Well, no. it's capitalism. A stage based off of Call that, of Duty. That's not even capitalism. That's just giving a middle finger to people who bought the game. I would do that just so I can play Shovel Knight and Alucard. Like, that's how much I'm willing to fork up. Like, also with Waluigi, I'll fork that money up to them. Like, I would literally be shut up and take my money kind of thing. Oh, yeah, they're saying, people are saying that the Wii is also backwards compatible. I just never had a chance to play GameCube, mainly because I a stage don't based have... off Call of Duty events. Possibility with with random wacky. He's quote a captain's referencing a video that nobody's seen. Hmm. One of my videos that nobody's seen really. Okay, what if they put like. What if they put, like, us in the game? Like, we should, like, our designs and say, Hey, Nintendo, make a game out of Neon Cabaret. And then they just said, Okay, Neon Cabaret is a new IP from Nintendo. It'll never sell. No, yeah, it would never sell. How likely is Decidueye able to get in Smash? I'm shocked that they haven't already announced him. Like, there, would it, be there, is, there is going to be a Pokemon rep. I am praying that's a situation. Because, because there's um, been a new Pokemon rep in Pokemon. every single Smash Brothers game. If they didn't if they didn't do that for this one, I would be shocked, and Decidueye would probably be the top pick. Why Decidueye specifically? Um, because, because that's the one um, that Nintendo's been pushing. Yeah, um, plus um Decidueye is really good in Pokemon. Yeah, if if he ends up in Pokemon, there. I mean, Nisroar is pretty cool, but I don't think Primarina can. Uh, Neon Cabaret is a regular trophy. Like Sorry, guys. Chalice takes pictures of dead animals to help out, like, summon dark magic. And I just, like, drill everyone with weird comic book facts while Slacker is just, like, no, challenging people in the actually, face. Actually, you know, no, no, what? For some reason in my head, as soon as you said that, I imagined Jeff from Earthbound. <laughs> <laughs> no, in order to get the um, Young Cabaret Trophy, you have to play 666 matches. No, you need to have <laughs> no. You need to have save data from the YouTube channel. You know Young Cabaret was the... would be Jeff. What did it? Right, but it's like full on team Jeff. Like, we're Team Jeff. Well, my name Jeff. My name also Jeff. <laughs> my name's Jeff. My name also Jeff. My name's Jeff. My name Jeff. Hey, do you remember Jeff? I'm not thinking of Jeff Sessions, like the, like the, like, Southern, like, Senator from Wait, where'd Congress you get that now... from? That's not even what the meme is referencing. <laughs> Well, now I, like, oh I we were saying it, it made me think of the Saturday Night Live portrayal where she, he was, like, saying, like, I'm actually related to a mongoose. 
Oh yeah. So what I posted in the chat was, it would be cool to see like a Disney World themed fighting game. Is the stream well, I mean, still we are, going? Oh, I mean, we got a racing game on the PlayStation, so it's not completely out of the ordinary. Mickey Mouse taking on Darth Vader. And you oh, can yeah. even have that guy from Interventions as a character. Yeah, like the little robot dude. Yeah. I remember it him. Exactly WDW characters. Hey guys, have you ever seen like no any of those like? Me. Have you seen any of like the references for like any people's like saying, "Oh, this is who I want for Smash Brothers"? I saw like the most dumbest list. Like, would sure. you guys want me to Pussy tell you? Pussy says we already have a Disney theme park fighting to. game. It's called Kingdom Hearts. I, I thought that's just basically self-insert fan character just hangs out with Donald and Goofy and they just go to Disney places and then they just see like the older brothers like Final Fantasy Obsession. Um, that's Sora, cool. it looks like I'm gonna have to cut your ass! <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Cause I can. Honestly, I just want a game where you can play as Remember, uh, remember in Kingdom Hearts 2 when Mickey, um, uh, um, uh, when like Goofy looked like he was die, like he died, and then Mickey was like, um, they will pay for this. <laughs> but he says it in like the Mickey Mouse, they will, they will pay for <laughs> this. <laughs> they'll, pay, they'll pay for <laughs> this. <laughs> oh wait, and then he, then he had, this. I'll buy the, cream. I'll buy them hey, out and then I'll send 46. them to the <laughs> doom. <laughs> I will pay for this, and I will strike down with Pondy with great vengeance and furious you know, anger. I really want to see. I want to. You know, I really want to see Legma and Smash. <laughs> Who? Legma. Legma. Who's that? Legma nuts. Nigga, okay, I love the video. And now let's go back to see what that did. What's that? <laughs> 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 yeah, really? It wasn't even that funny. <laughs> anyway, I just want a game where you can play as um guy number 1876 from Spaceship Earth. Everyone's like, oh, we're still together. I can't believe someone fell for it. <laughs> really? As Nintendo gave it an actual release date for their online service, I'm looking at their website right now, and all it says is that it launches this month. No, they haven't. I'm assuming they. I'm, assu I'm assuming they would announce that during the direct. It's it's what they're probably going to do is this is going to be a weird thing, but they're I'm stalling it too much. Uh, let me, let me at see. this point, we've known barely anything, and right now it doesn't look like it's worth being under twenty bucks. I'm betting what they have all this. Is as soon as they announce it during the direct. They're going to announce that it's starting right now. And they're also going to start right, 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 right now! Fuck you, everyone playing video games right now! Yeah! <laughs> I will get um, Nintendo Switch online only if they, I don't know, add and Super Nintendo and N64 games. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is what the stream was about. Right. Oh yeah, hey, it, it was on. about things. Right. Wait, hold on. You want me to tell you what was the most dumbest list of Smash? What uh, if the Virtual Boy was a playable character in Super oh, Smash? Oh, it was. It was. I want to empire love It was way worse. Do you know who made the list? Can you guess who, who made the Zach, list? Goku. No, like you, No, the person who made the list. Naruto. Hey. Donald Trump. No, they're talking about the person who actually wrote the list. Slacker, would you like to take a guess? It's a good friend of ours. Dusty? Not Dusty, Bitch, but... I didn't do shit! Rusty? <laughs> Rose, Some Rose. Cousin we don't know about? Dusty wrote it. I'll tell you who wrote it. It's good old the game overeater. Ah, uh, of course. Ah, uh, uh, of course. Of course, no. And guess what? You know who was like the number one candidate he wanted, really? Like other Adidas than just a story mode. Sam. No. <laughs> no, I'll tell you. I'll tell you who it was. It was Captain and the Game Master. Uh... Also, he wanted Jason Voorhees in. He wanted. Why? Uh, oh my God! He's almost as. Oh my God! He's as retarded as Chalice. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 
like it's not very nice. I mean, that's like a fantasy, and I understand. Wait, I like, know when I don't look. I do know when like characters can't get in Smash. Like I accept that Crash Manic could give me a Smash now because you gave me a good reason why. Right, but also he said he wanted Jason Voorhees, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Battletoads, the Cheetah Men, which is a game wait, that wait, was wait. never Wait, 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 is this a list for Smash? Is this a list for Smash Brothers oh. or Injustice? <laughs> no, for Smash <laughs> Brothers. No, it's for Smash Brothers. The only one that was being even ca is even catch you on the Discord's like I said I said that as a joke. Well, no, that was real. Like that was all real. He also oh said, God. "Please Randy link Ram. me this list. Please link me this list. Well, like, well, I will. Like Please. <laughs> you want to watch it? Oh yeah. my God. Hell yeah, I do. Let Let's do this. What are we watching? The dumbest thing in the world. <laughs> oh God. I, I've asked this before, but are you going to, are we going to, is the channel going to do anything on Movie Bob? Oh, uh, we've been planning it for a while. Yes, as in the Action 52 characters. I just have a former vendetta for, like. Oh, oh my god, like, I forgot who Bob. has Action 52, but somebody on this channel is doing that. Like, here's the thing, like, I, the personal reason why I kind of wanted to do the whole thing with you guys is because you guys talked about Chris Chan and I saw a movie Bob so I figured out like okay I can explain my gripes with movie Bob being a former fan of his and I figured out we can stream the movie Bob thing to show how stupid he is with his game over eater well, like, it's, game over well like, it's not stuff. even that he used to be somewhat bearable but he slowly descended into madness like, I want some to know of his hey, years I ago Sent into madness. Like some of his things are actually pretty good. Like some of his yeah. things, like like his really that good episodes on his channel, they are freaking amazing. But with his game over thinker and also his American Bob, where he just talks politics, it's literally like an insane man on the like writing like writing cryptid messages on the wall with feces. Hold That's on, guys, I'm doing it. I'm doing a sync vid, guys. Hold your anuses. Oh. How do I sing Vinny? How do I sing oh, Vinny? Bob Chipman presents... Okay, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Bob Chipman for Smash! <laughs> <laughs> so it just shows up on the YouTube and I can watch it from there, right? Well, no, I put a link in the live chat. Top 50 characters? Wait, 50?! Yep. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> That's five times um, better than what you thought. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get a drink for this. Be right back. Yeah, I'm, gonna, gonna, get I'm gonna use the bathroom quickly. I will be back in a second. Anyone know how to do use a dolphin emulator? Uh, on, the, on the bright side, though, Blacker. At least it's better. At least it's it's. Definitely, um, your Is lists are better. Good? Your, um, top 70 anime, whatever. It's silent. Ooh, I'm at the top of the screen. Hey. Oh, hey, I forgot that, um, I owned one of the original copies of Pokemon, the first movie. Oh, and what's what's the difference between the original and the others? The way it's packaged. I see. Never knew. Um, I'm going. I'm doing some fall cleaning. That's cool. Oh, I have I'm a back. Lot of, I'm back. I have a lot of like Cartoon Network VHS tapes, like ones that were actually recorded off the of TV. Yeah, it's it's actually opened completely different way. Um, uh, let me show you. All right, so who do I got in the sink vid? I'm assuming Mr. Marvel and Captain. You kind of like unhook yeah. the spine. You know what you're talking about, like Cartoon Network? Yeah. Well, I really oh, never really wow, watched that many old. Cartoon Network stuff or Nickelodeon as a kid. I have a, I have way too many VHS tapes of like yeah, Cartoon Mar Network. Mr. Marvel's kind of sheltered. He yeah, I don't know, know why I said that, that voice. 
I watched a yeah, lot of the Disney no, after no, no. I, I, I didn't grow up with Cable. What would Spider-Man be without Yeah, um, yeah, this, this movie was, um, is extremely old. Oh, oh, like that's a piece of paper on it, right? Yeah. yeah. Right, you know how oh, you were for talking a second, to... For a second, I thought that was styrofoam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, so you ready? To... I, like for a second, I thought, dude, you got ripped off. <laughs> All right, you ready? To... Evan V oh, says, oh, "Rip oh. topic." We hardly knew ye. Actually, you know what? I think we'll end it after this. Like right. ending the stream afterwards. Yeah. After that, yeah. I kind of want to ask something. Ask how to use dolphin. This is like one of the take most dolphin, entertaining videos of the live stream. All right, let's do this. I need the emulator. All Bobby. right, assholes, let's do this. You grab, um, Emu Paradise. It's probably and you crap. Clap is how you know that the video is gonna suck. Oh! Illuminati! You guys, are you guys hearing this? Yeah. What is this oh, music? Shit, we're getting a new Smash Brothers. It's, well, at least um, like it's a Movie Bob trying to kill us. Of course, the Illuminati's already here to kill us all. Okay, I'm from New England, and I hate his Boston accent. Same. Dude, I'm Same. from Al Dude, I'm from Atlanta and I fucking hate him. I now kind of hate him now for his whole politics um, and his video game opinions. Because, um, I hate him because he I criticized think... people. Uh, he criticized top 50 characters uh, who must be super who must be in Super what? Smash oh, Brothers no. on Switch. Like here's the thing, like it's a he, crime if you don't have them. I actually cracked okay. my knuckles. Let's do this. Like, hold on, hold on. Like, I feel like most of his gaming issues, you know how he says like, oh, these video games are all about first-person shooters and survivalists and all this stuff. Like, I think most of his problems with like the video game industry would be okay if he just like played indie games only and retro revival style or games. If, yeah, I agree. Like, if he just like played Shovel Knight and like so, Cave Story. So you're calling him a games journalist, is what you're saying. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah he, isn't, it, he, isn't it? If he played those old retro games instead of playing like a bunch no, of like you're, modern you're, we're talking games. about a guy. Hi, it's kid, you. We're talking about a guy who compared the release of Super Mario Brothers three to the JFK assassination and 9/11. What? what? Yeah, that was true. I don't want to know the context. Um, there, wait, that, that, is, that is the context. Oh, Why? Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Yeah, I realized it wasn't even like Mario 3's release. It's saying that the scene when the guy is like in the movie The Wizard, and then he said, I release you, Super Mario Brothers 3. And then they showed He the also called the console wars his own per. The between the Super Nintendo and the Genesis, his own personal Vietnam. Also, oh I, my god. Also, this is from his said, book, by the way. Seriously? Right. He oh, wrote a he, yeah. He, apparently, he's literate. Oh, and also, <laughs> oh my god, that makes perfect sense. Also, when you um, think of, I'm looking at. I thought I thought we were just making fun of this video, not Movie, movie Bob movie. as a whole. Yeah, we. Movie Bob. You know is what, a, guys, a guys, 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 guys. I'm just gonna play this thing without pausing it because we don't have much that much time. It's already well, doomed by number fifty. Well, let's pause, like, if there's, like, actually something to comment on. Like, I'll we just give, between, like, our thoughts I'll pause out. between characters and give a reason why I feel they would or wouldn't be in it. I'll do that Oh, much. my gosh. So Dude, I'm going to roast that. this guy live. Same it's here. Right, let's do it. at number 50. About which new uh, I'm white. Where's the link? Thing. And this time, I don't have a top 5 or a top 10 or a top 20. I got 50. That's... <laughs> <laughs> And here's the thing, like, his choices are kind of, like, stupid. Like, I feel like he right. only wants to choose games from his childhood. Or return in whatever they call the new Smash Brothers for Nintendo Switch. It's called Ultimate, Bob. You could have well, made this, this after. Before it was, I think this, yeah, I think it was made before. Just because it says everyone's here doesn't mean that I am a finger and I'm not afraid to use it. It's rules for who can and can't appear. I don't care. Are any of them Detective Pikachu? Hell no, that... Ironically, I feel like Detective Pikachu would be a good Echo Fighter for Pikachu. I, or, or, actually, you know what? Not even an Echo Fighter, just a costume. Like, it, I mean, it's just a hat. I mean, I kind of actually want to see... picture is Movie Bob as Detective Pikachu. Yeah, Pikachu can't, couldn't really do, like, use any moves. Actually, so who, what's the name of that fat guy from Street Fighter? What, what was his name? Ralph? 
Wait, who are you talking about? Like, which Street Fighter character? I don't know, let's keep going. Oh, uh, Street Fighter 2? Hi, Navi. I'm yeah, yeah, right. doing this for the game Overthinker Persona this week because video games. Uh-huh. So changing the titles and scenery around honestly makes no difference here other Smash Brothers for Switch. No. <laughs> I feel like he would be oh. okay. Like, you're Did my- Did you see like, number 50? Like, Yes. Like he would be okay. Already, I'm like okay. Kong, um, okay. I already have. I already have doubts Kong. about Banjo and Kazooie making it into Smash. Kong Conquer is a straight up no. It's yeah, Conquer Conquer is, Conquer is, is, Conquer's Bad Fur Day is Conquer. rated M. By the way. Well, so is Metal Gear and Bayonetta. Like, yeah, but um, is... Snake had um, like Snake is an actual fighter, and besides, like they um, and so is Bayonetta. No, but Conker's game is mostly, uh, it's mostly South Park humor, if I'm going to be honest. I think, like, um, Sakurai and, the, um, Conker. the guy Konami are game? friends, and, um, like, he came Simon up Simon Belmont. Um, okay, Sakurai. this one's, okay. Bob, you got one right. You got one out of 50 so far. You you have two. That's actually really good. You have two percent. Yay. Actually, this is a really good candidate. Like, like I was no, hoping. No, it is a good candidate because Simon Belmont is confirmed in the game. Wait, how long was this video uploaded? Uh, it was like in, I don't care. It was like in late. It was I like think in late when they first released that Splatoon March trailer. March 14th, 2018. Oh, okay. So yes, he did predict Simon Belmont. Surprise! Yay! He actually did a thing. I have no idea who the hell this guy is. <laughs> this is one of his playlists. Hi, Gar! Speaking of you, he must have been style. fucking high Gar when making this Rygar's choice. Got a giant flaming yo -yo right, Gar. So okay, close cool. enough. Okay, I'm just gonna say this much. If Sakurai's never heard of it, I don't think they'd be in Smash. This is wait, like, wait a minute, Rygar! I swear I've heard of Rygar before. Well, Ryger is like one of his NES fetish stuff. Birdo! It's like, I heard the music from it somewhere in the game. I'm not sure. Birdo! Who may or may not be Yoshi's Echo Fire. Good choice. Birdo! Um, should we count that as 3% or no? No, it's not confirmed yet. No. We're still on 2%. If it is confirmed, then he gets nothing. We've only got like two years tops left before the franchise is potentially destroyed forever because Nintendo gave the movie rights to the fucking Minions people. That's a whole episode of how he would fix the Mario movie that they're saying. Um, how he would do it. You know, I'm gonna say this. Illumination has a lot of very talented. I think they have a very a lot of very talented people. I just think the people in charge make a lot of dumb decisions in terms of what movies they make. Well, hey, Slacker, remember I gave you like how I would do the Mario Brothers movie just to troll Bob. Oh, Jalar uh, from uh, Honestly, um, I, I feel I like if anyone perfect. should make a Mario movie, it should. Well, I think Miyamoto himself is on the project, so. There's at least that going for it. Joanna Dark, like, uh, again. Oh. Uh, Banjo Kazooie, if they, if they can't make it, then neither can Joanna Dark. No, same uh, this is like the same uh, issue with no, Conqueror. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyone from Rare is Except for um, K. Rool and D because Donkey Kong Country. Okay. Yeah, he just said I, this would be harder to get to 50 than I thought it would be. No, Nestor's not making it. You want to know why? Because he was made specifically for a U.S. magazine, and I don't think Sakurai gives a shit. Yeah, but what would Nestor even, like, what would his moveset be? I miss Nintendo Power. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Nestor had one game. One game, and it was on the Virtual Boy. But, wait, here's another thing. And you know like, what? That oh. game on the Virtual Boy, it wasn't even, like, an act- It wasn't even, like, his oh. own game. It was basically- oh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a bowling game, and for the American release, they just put Nestor's face on it. So he was a mod before mods. He was a re he was an official reskin for the North American market on the Virtual Boy. Right, but Nintendo Power is good, but I don't think he would be that good to put into Smash. That's the main issue. Okay, um... Who remembers Stanley the Bugman? Number 45. We're getting there. <laughs> Stanley the Bugman. Speak of the devil. No. No. Wait, hear this out. No. No. 
<laughs> I would love it too, but no. Who Stanley the Bugman? I don't even know who Stanley the Bugman is. Full gore. No. Um. Bob is gonna be full of gore after this. I don't know how to react to Labo. May I? Like, listen to this. I mean, listen to this explanation. To listen to it. I'm not gonna lie. I actually really like that suggestion. This is one of the videos I kind of wanted to show you guys when we were going to start tackling on Movie Bob. Like, I figured out, like, this could be, like, a side thing, like, with to also talking about, Yeah, but about, then like, it suddenly became relevant to the conversation. Well, I guess now it's better that we bust this out now. Yeah. So... Labo Robot, I feel like there is going to be some Labo representation in Smash. I just don't think it's going to be anything big. I, is this a trophy? Uh, like a Labo Oh, you know what would be cool? If they made it like a Dragoon, where you collect parts and then you get one giant attack. Shut up, you fairy whore! They made the Labo oh, motorbike, uh, motorcycle. They could have made it a new... Uh, oh, Surfy was an assist trophy in Brawl. I mean, here's the thing, like, you guys... Labo um, Amiibo. Okay, guys, go back like 15 seconds. It's, you're gonna hear the most intro, like so one of the most so stupid things. Have, like, a weird crush on her, like a sexual hang-up thing. Oh, uh, that that's not really a thing, is it? No, you know what? I don't want to know. That's on the Wii Fit Trainer. Bob X Wii Fit Trainer, Chalice, do it. Well, here's the thing. I mean, Movie Bob's waifu is Arnita Sarkeesian or Hillary Clinton. What? Dude, can we just drop it and just make fun of this guy? No, oh, but I want to keep going with the video. Yeah, one Starfy. He's one part Kirby, one part SpongeBob. 40. No. <laughs> yes, I would love Tails in. No, I'm saying no. that he would also, have to be his own character, and I don't think Sakurai. On top of every other character that's ever been in Smash Brothers, no. Look, so who calls them by their full uh, name? Make better, I think Tails would be better as a sister of the... Yeah. Uh, Master Higgins from Adventure Island. Which what was the last time the game was relevant? When it came out. Well. No. This is his, like, fetishistic viewpoints on retro gaming. If it oh, was no. made... Who are you? Well, listen, Movie Bob basically has a retro gaming fetish. Like, if it was made after 96, then it's considered to be, like, crap in his viewpoints, pretty much. Like, an original IP after that point. But not Starfleet? Well, I don't know. He's Starfleet? weird like that. Maybe it's like Starfleet resembles Kirby in some way? That's his whole deal. Like, if it resembles an old game somewhat, and if it's very, very linkly close, then he's like, yeah, I'm going to like it no matter what. Like, that's <sighs> the whole thing. If it wasn't a game franchise that was made after, like, the 90s... It's not for my like, child after, like, that I don't 90s. like it. This is exactly how I feel towards people who really don't like modern cartoons. I love some of this. <laughs> I, I kind of want to see Adventure Time. I kind of want to see Adventure Time. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna have to. Guys, I'm gonna have to restart the. Holy crap! Number thirty-six. <laughs> guys, my vid my video is broken. Okay. Oh my gosh, number thirty-six. <laughs> wait, wait, what? I forgot what was number thirty-six again. Like, wait, don't tell a child. Like, let's wait for that. No, my my video is oh broken. I have to do a new room. Sorry, guys. I can't believe number thirty-six is this guy. <laughs> How? How well, why are there points for it anyway? So like, does we... he even provide points? All right, thirty-nine. Number thirty-nine. Master, Master Higgins. Higgins. I mean, Adventure Island. No idea who that is. So, More like oh, Master Beach. A real guy. Yeah, they changed the name for Western. That's what you're from. From Adventure Island, Island but oh my god, the Master Beach is priceless. Listen to it. Hudson executive. Listen to it. Executive. I'm the first actual person to fight in Smash Brothers. I think that'd be something. Number 38, Captain Syrup. Smash Brothers. Wait, is this like the villainous from Warwick? Like... Shouldn't everything have Oh, to yeah, I know who this is now. On that note. Captain Syrup? Well, yeah. No. It's not going to happen. No. Just no. No. Oh, my. No. no.
Oh, okay, Gargoyles first of all, this franchise is now owned by Disney, Disney who Animal wouldn't franchise? allow it. Wait, it's owned by Disney now? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, Wait my... I mean, Guybrush could oh, yeah. possibly be in the next Pirates movie? No. Yeah. No. No. Oh, my gosh, number 36 is... <laughs> well, we're on 37, so... Show some love to the hero, sort of, from one of the greatest <laughs> adventure series of all time. Guybrush sure, could be a good character for a fighting game, though. Not Smash, but a fighting game. My boss, boss. Boss. Like a scum engine menu-based Final Smash? Yeah, that'd be a thing. <laughs> this no. is where we go into the town. This is yeah! the town. Let's into the explanation. That's the better part. The explanation oh, is I stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Let's into the explanation. Like, listen really? to it. Hey, that's mega great. He's giving a phone call yeah. because he knows how upset we are. It would take me um it would take me an entire week to explain why Popeye would never end up in Smash Bros. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. But before we move on and see his dumb you know reasoning of Popeye. I, I've never like, seen this video, but I can already predict Bob's logic is that it was the first it was one of the first games that Miyamoto worked on. Yes, that's its own reason, but listen to it. It's stupid. So, hey, did you know that when she was my no child? Fucking Popeye, knew it! He was originally designing a new game about Popeye with Bluto and Olive Oil as villain and damsel. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, Emoji Movie. Aw, poor Gemby. But then Nintendo did get the license, and Miyamoto designed a Popeye game anyway that was a pretty solid arcade hit. That sure was so great. Just because Black you have the license so, yeah, once doesn't Popeye? mean that you'll get it again. Uh, uh, who's this guy? Oh, and he wasn't a video game. Yeah, sure. Titles that wasn't really a classic in its own right, but a lot of people owned because it was something new to play and it had a good cover. Yeah. Remember because it was so obscure. in Bad Dudes and Fighters History, which was actually called Karnov's Revenge in Japan. So he's an old hat at that. I know what this game is. Oh, Karnov. Oh, I don't even know how to pronounce this one's name. <laughs> also, who are you? Oh. No one knows yes, who, what these that. games are, Bob. Okay. I mean, at least his choices are sophisticated. I think it's pronounced S T X. Nope. Are you sure? Because Ask this is your a nice NES game with a not overwhelmingly Wait, who are practice, number who are no, who's number 33? Oh, his whole logic is oh, it's obscure. It'd be a good fit for Nah, that's not enough. No, it has to be like well recognized in some way or like um It's just like a joke. Pause, pause. Actually, I think these could be a good choice because they are actually official Nintendo characters, so Well, what are they from? Probably be cool. Star Wrestling, Star Wrestling from Nintendo. Yeah, but, um. Hey guys, how many... is Amazon supposed to be referenced to Common Rider Amazon? You think? Um, I don't know. Maybe. Surprisingly replayable in an early effort from. Hey guys, what's this about? Um, well, originally it was about the, how Nintendo's online service sucks, but now we're basically making fun of Bob for his Smash Brothers choices. Yeah. Movie Bob. Yep. Right. Oh, and also, here's another thing. Like when you were at the guy what? class, what? Pretty novel looking fighters back in the day. Plus, Starman what? was the first Smash Brothers competitor to hail from the great nation of Mexico. Could and someone sync vid me the video? Someone send me the sync vid. Uh. Yeah. Should, like, should be in the live chat. Two. Yeah. Like if like hold on. And since yeah, we're, we're, we're not in, going like, off topic for long, this is the last video of the night. 30, right, and Slacker, 30, hold on, like, oh, you know how he was talking about, like, Guybrush being in, and he said, okay, we can't have more sword characters from Fire Emblem. He, I think Bob hates Fire Emblem just because it's Japanesey and it's from modern times, like, for the modern dude, releases. Dude, dude, Fire Emblem has been around since 1989, 1990. But it wasn't in America during that time, so that's why he hates it. Even though, actually, there's plenty of good characters that they can choose from from Fire Emblem. Number 32 is even worse than Popeye. What, what, uh, how is there? that even possible? I think the oh, what? It's what? Listen to this explanation. It's so stupid. What? What is the fuck? <laughs> what? You're saying number 32 now, right? Yes! What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> now you're getting why it's 
I said it towards the Popeye. Who even is that? Wait, wait, wait. What am I? What's worse than Popeye? Randy the Rock you know that part Robinson. Robinson. Where Randy is playing the old NES game star. Randy himself. the Ram Robinson. tries to explain what Call of Duty is, and it's one of the best scenes in the movie, and one of the best scenes about video. Oh, from the wrestler? Did you know they actually pro? So wait, he's, wait, but he's but some random character from the Wizard. <laughs> working 8-bit NES game to work in that scene? Yeah, they did. So yeah. Number 31. This is just oh. Stupid. Out for the oh. console, mascot time forgotten. Recognize that a fighter whose attacks are all headbutt based sounds kind of fun to play How as. How would you get? Who who owns Bonk? Wait, does he always put the in Bob? We trust watermark on his videos. Hey, robot! Wow! What? Wait, what? <laughs> wait, where? Wait, how did just a robot yeah. get in here? Wait, I have a question though. Does he always have that? It's uh, in Bob. We trust watermark on his I, videos. I don't know. He always does. Oh, we are terrified Boo, by your voice. Look, it is your brother, oh, Movie Bob, is assuming you oh, will I'm be so a smash. Sorry. I'm Movie so sorry. Bob. I didn't realize it was on. I didn't realize it was TV on. Robo, ironically, would actually be a decent new fighter for Smash. It would be kind TV of a Robo already has. The problem is Nintendo would care less about him. I just exactly. realized he has a butt plug. He's got an amiibo. He should be in Smash. That sounds I actually kind of like the amiibo. It was life size. Oh, holy crap! Not, his logic was not. even war. His logic was horrible. Like it. Okay, he has I mean, an amiibo. He should be in Smash. Is that? Yeah, that's I mean, his logic. Okay. No, guys, hold on. There's I mean, why not? Is that what the amiibos are for, though? As like a Smash thing? No. If that's what no, Shovel Knight should be in, and Shovel Knight's on the list, it's not on the, his list. It's mainly uh, Smash Bros. Though, really, like a minute. Wait, guys, with Thomas here, it's his explanation. He did a separate video making fun of this. Not play this classic. Not too many, I'd wager. Plus, I know I've done full shows about this before, but wait, wait, this is actually Jackie Bob Chan, actually right? likes some recent American arcade name for a Japanese release that was actually the tie-in game for the Jackie Chan movie oh. Meals on Meals. Yeah, look that up. Hey, look, yeah, like hot, two hundred fifty, right? Jackie Chan. So with the whole like him saying about Jackie Chan, he did a whole episode saying Jackie Chan should be in Smash Brothers because Thomas from Kung Fu was actually like based off of Jackie Chan. So Wait. he thought the celebrity Jackie Chan should be into Smash Brothers just because Thomas from Kung Fu is supposed well, to- Well, by that Kung logic, Fu. I Wait, should say they should just name him Thomas for Smash because they can't get the rights to use Jackie Chan's likeness. Wait, Wait is he saying- Wait, is he saying, he is he saying that they should- Wait, is he saying that they should put kid Jackie Chan in Smash Brothers because- There's a whole separate video about that, okay? Like, there's a whole video. He took the effort to make a video. David yeah. VR says, by uh, that logic, Solera of Astoria should be in Smash, and then Captain said right below it, so should every Animal Crossing character. Well, I was gonna say Shaquille um, O'Neal, like, with Shaq Fu. If, if they, like, really want to put um, classic, Jackie Chan well in Smash Brothers and just use Hitmonchan. And it feels you're in a soldier boner, Bob. I mean, this is obvious, right? Yeah, but it was made in the 90s. Good choice. Okay, Wait, he's already in. He's right, already Bob. in Smash Brothers. He's on the recent one, but he's already in in Smash Brothers. Yeah, so he's been confirmed. Things. So congrats, Bob. You have 4%. Hey, it's all <laughs> Listen to this logic. However, 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 pause it. Metal Gear's Bro, pause it for a second. We don't have time. These things that ever happened in the series. So why'd they leave him out of the sequel? It's not like the absurdity of seeing the walking embodiment of tactical army guy character design. Okay, let me explain this for you, Bob. They couldn't get him because they couldn't get the rights from Konami for it. Oh, that ain't good. The more you know. Uh, that's wait, not, wait, that's wait, not, I'm not going to say because... that's exactly what happened, but that's my guess as to why they couldn't get him. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Because <laughs> Kojima was the great. reason he ended up in Brawl. Like, Kojima actually wanted him melee, but he, they, but Sakurai couldn't get him in in time. So they said, hey, I'll put him in Brawl. Do you think Wait, Kojima will ever get the right to Metal Gear to, to Kojima Studios no. and he'll be able to, no, like... No, that'll never happen, unfortunately. Yeah, like, when I first saw, like, Solid Snake in Brawl, I got to first find out about Metal Gear. ...delightful and we're still doing Metal Gear games, so why the hell not get him back in? <laughs> Who's this mouse? It's Mappy. Like, have you ever played Let me mouse? guess. Like, have Let, you ever me played guess. Mouse? Let me guess. Let me guess. Like, He's an obscure NES character. Well, no, he. Have you ever played those any of those? Like, no, not Namco even machines? obscure arcade character. Have you ever played those Namco machines? Why is a fairy here? Uh. Hey, can I say something though? What? I feel like. God damn, Cortana. <sighs> Hey Cortana, sometimes. Okay, I was about to say was maybe Big Boss should be in the next Smash because it seems fitting he'd be in there because.
Wait, I have a question. Punish Snake. You, Punish um, Snake should be in Smash Bros. In the new Smash Bros. Because he'd be really fitting with the horn and his rocket fist. I feel like just that would be just a good character. Wait, Although, I same here. Wait, how did they get Snake back um, for Smash Ultimate? They just got everyone's rights back. They just paid them a crap ton of money just saying, yo, you want to make more money with us? Then we're no, giving really, you money no. so we, you guys get money. I don't know. It just works. It just works. I, I think I have, I have I no idea. You know what? Smash. You know what? Let's just be glad Snake's in Smash again. Yeah. It's like the Godfather, like, I'll make you an offer you can't use. Yep. Kunio is the protagonist of Toad's shockingly popular and long-lived Niketsu Koha Kunio-kun or hot-blooded tough guy Kunio franchise. Mm -hmm. Which combines mm -hmm. high school melodrama, street gang brawling, Wait, he actually likes something Japanese? ...the River City Ransom series for the U.S. So oh. we'd have a big move set. Yeah, good. Good stage. for you. You have Did okay you face a now. Did you TV show out of this? Like, I haven't yeah, seen it, Yeah, but this still was made in the 90s. Who thought that would happen? Oh, that was horrible. That TV show looks genuinely horrible. Okay, four and a half. Oh, yeah. Same here. Okay, four and a half percent because he became an assist trophy. <laughs> what? Oh, what? oh I, I forgot about that commercial. Wait, hold on. Like this whole like this whole entire thing, like this video was made like six months before the smash. Hey, look, Jealous, right. it's your thing. <laughs> what? Psychopathic just, Japanese just mascots? Yeah, isn't it great? Slap Chalice face is there, and there you go. Now he is six it. Now we know what Chalice does on the weekend. We know what Chalice does on the weekend. Uh, well, no, now we know what Chalice looks like. No, well, you know what Chalice does on a weekend. I mean, no, you don't know what I do on a weekend. Only There's only one person who knows that. Who? Okay, okay, Bob, like... you now have 7%. 7%, not insane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are the 8 Inuit video game heroes can you name? Like, I gave... Yeah, did he really just bring ethnicity into this thing? What? Did he really just make the point of them being Inuit as a key oh, factor of them being in Smash? Um, no! Beautiful! No, we can't have like Sub Zero like rip off the head of Mario. First off, first off, Sub Zero is already in in Justice Two. He's already in a, in a different property. So having him in Smash would be a bad idea. Oh no, Does I wasn't even gonna go with that. I was gonna go the whole route of oh, Warner Brothers and Nintendo aren't on good terms anymore. Well, wait, wait, all right, wait, why? What? Wait, why? Well, have you ever that seen a lot of Mario? Warner Brothers games on the Switch that wasn't a crap game or a port? Or like those games are coming. Oh wow, movie ball so has nine percent, right? Collection. No, I mean like a movies. big major game. Like oh. it's not on the level of what Bethesda or Ubisoft are doing. Okay, no, 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 no. Right. But anyway, Sub Zero would be a bad choice because you can't just have a ninja go around and then just rip off people's heads. I mean, they had to tone down Snake. They had to tone down Bayonetta from being like super violent. They would have so to tone down Doom Guy if they added him. Well, Wait, I mean, why, would they, why in God's name would they add Doom Guy? Well, Doom Guy seems kind of cool. Honestly, it's out of all over. the Western, out of all the Western characters, he would probably be the best one. He's he's iconic for his genre, but Bethesda and Nintendo have a fantastic relationship. Doom has and been ported up to multiple oh. Nintendo platforms. Doom three. Well, not Doom. Like the, well, not Doom three. But Doom twenty sixteen. Doom 2016, Doom Eternal is coming to Switch. The original Doom got ported to both Super Nintendo and Game Boy Advance. There was oh, Doom, yeah. Doom 64 was built was an entirely new game built from the ground up for the 64. Hey, so, when you so, said Doom and it, so Doom and Bethesda are on good terms with each other. Exactly. Right. Hey, and you know, oh, they're better it? than the Mortal Kombat creators are. Wait, wait. Did you say that Doom and Beth um, Bethesda? Bethesda are like in a good relationship. Yeah, good. And yeah. Bethesda, Bethesda do when you it. Fight with Ryu and Sub Zero in a Smash Brothers game before we ever get a Street Fighter versus Mortal Kombat. That'd be dope. Nine. Okay, okay. okay. Bob, you have nine percent now. Bob, you have nine percent now. Congratulations. Oh, he's screaming. <laughs> I'm supposed to actually predict of this. Kinda. Just for the record, oh! the woman in the red dress is Paulina from Donkey Kong, right? Yes. Bob, yeah. I'm gonna take a po Okay, Bob, I'm gonna take a point off because of this. No, guys, listen to his explanation. Listen to his no. explanation. It's stupid. It's already done. He has eight percent. Oh my. So hey. 
Undertale. One of these Switch. people from Undertale. Cool. So someone from there should be in Smash Brothers, right? No. Actually, Undertale on the on the Switch would be dope. Super deep into Undertale, it is but going I recognize to be on the, the place of honor it has with a whole generation of gamers, and I respect the hell out of that. So Sans and or Papyrus, I guess. That seems like no, no. Don't Amiibo, don't affect so. this. I'm a real though. I'm a real though. Frisk would look amazingly adorable. Okay, in, for in, a in, okay, for a in, second in, I thought as a, as, a, as a in the Smash Bros. engine. Okay. I feel like a 3D representation. For a second I thought that Bros. said Doki Doki Literature Family. What's the Doki Doki, Doki Panic? Panic. Oh, Doki Doki Panic. That's what Super when Mario Bros. When I saw the pictures, I thought I was looking at Arabian I'm Mario. I'm sure everyone knows the reason Super Mario Bros. 2 was so different was that it was an alternate, unrelated Shigeru Miyamoto produced game, not released outside Japan, with the four player characters reskinned into Mario. But Mario would anyone outside of Japan? Oh my. You might Wait, not know, is, this, is this an arid family in the Mario world? Well, no, what happened was that this was originally a completely different game. In America, they just yeah. put Mario on it. Yeah, because oh. was, um, the actual Mario 2 was too hard. So the Shy Guys were never originally Mario characters. They nope. were just your Doki Doki family. No, Same thing it, with it's Birdo. weird, though. What's Birdo? It's weird, though, now that they are Mario Oh, characters. the horn thing. Okay, um, how... Japanese TV Why would this be a good idea? Festival in 1987, ...which the game was designed to promote. Their designs are kind of fun, they're absolutely a deep cut of Nintendo history, so you might as well get them in here. Um, Tis, except but, nobody... It, I doubt that even the current generation of Japan players know what Doki Doki Panic is. Also, I'ma sound like... No, I'm a sound, that, um, I'm a sound like a hey, total drag Hey, guess what? Nintendo this. also did Love Hotels. That's a big part of Nintendo's history. Can we put that in Smash? Wait, oh, yeah, you let's have a Love oh, Hotel thing. And, and yo, everyone, Slacker, yeah. Slacker, Wait, Slacker, Slacker. What? What I was about to say was, oh. I'm gonna sound like a total prude and a little bit of a drag. Boy, I'm a real. There's gonna be a good amount of people pissed off at the at the somewhat racist for to interpret representation of Arab people. <laughs> like there are gonna be right. people going to be offended by, by the Doki family. It's made wait, by Asian on, people. Wait, the racism. Well, um, the racism hey, equals out. Hey, Slacker. Like. So you pretty much just want them to like. Probably the best of He has. A Why does he keep using the fairy voice? Yes. Yes, I, I think it's supposed to be a straw man. It's supposed to be a straw man. That's Villager's move set, idiot. What? More to the point, though, it was a late and dearly missed Satori Watch's Wait. best known work as program. What's Joe? That wasn't a reason to put it in before. It sure is. I can understand that. No. We have a balloon fight stage. But fuck you, Bob. And Move on. Yeah, but, okay. yeah same. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. What? Yeah, that looks totally great as like as like a, as like a, as like a stage. Village is upbeat is balloon fighter. But you don't need balloon fighter in Smash Brothers. Okay. No. 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 Yes! He should lose all points. It's like far, like he loses all the points. I'm not gonna go that far. I just want to say that n this is, Bob is probably the only person who ever wanted Bubsy to come back, period. Listen to his explanation, but also, hey, when you were saying about the whole, like, okay. I mean, what could possibly go? That's a bit of a reach. No, this is a oh. reach. I well, I mean, at least he's. <laughs> Why does he want that infamous game mention again? <laughs> Wait, why is he Okay, first off, first off, he's, he's mentioned- First off, the Sub-Zero and Jason Voorhees are already in fighting games. Jason Voorhees is in Mortal Kombat. And more- And, and, and Sub-Zero's in- Dude, just in because just, they're already, already in a fighting game franchises. doesn't- Just because they're already in a fighting game doesn't mean they can't end up in Smash. The problem I mean, is, there's crazy. a lot more hoops they have to go through. Oh, and listen to this explanation the biggest one being the rights to use the character, period. But here's his yeah. explanation of why, but- and also when you were saying about the Doom for Game Boy Advance, you forgot to say it, Adanse. Like, remember that? From Sonic U? No, the Game Boy Advance. Advance. Well, it makes so much sense that- <laughs> Jared Bufflecrumb says, okay, now Bob is just shitposting, right? Pretty much, he is really <laughs> crap posting it. 
Is there a way for us to view the live chat, like in a separate tab, and we have to just go to the YouTube uh, video? For 14. What? Hear it. Sheer terribleness and because of the license, widespread purchase regret of the NES Friday the 13th game has made it and its bizarre purple don't, variant and don't say anything. Its own I know that it's the dead now. Of Nintendo nostalgia. Okay, I Come accept on, you know that Crash funny. Bandicoot will never be in Smash Brothers. Okay? Oh, like, be funny, okay, to be fair, I just wanted a like a giant um video game mascot um brawl. Dude, people have made online. I Fan games of Smash that oh, have yeah. that have yeah, Spang yeah, Rob Bobber Dick in it. Well, wait, wait, what? Okay, that's, that's really a good idea. Because honestly, I just really want a game where all the video game mascots um, no duke it out against exists. each other, and Smash Bros. are closest thing to that. That's his explanation. Do you just want to have like a massive like dude? If that's across what's... the multiverse, if it was that easy game. for characters to get into Smash Brothers, we'd see Kratos at Master Chief here as well. <laughs> and also Thor. <laughs> you would get Thor tap, and then it's basically Marvel versus Capcom, but with everything else. That's gonna be someone's favorite. And Gabby, real Kratos and, and Smash would be would be dope. That was a rhetorical question. Of course it is. <laughs> That's okay. it. This is injustice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I would love the Ninja Turtles too, Bob, but it will never happen. Not in my lifetime I or your lifetime. Is it a like wait, wait, Marvel? Why wouldn't they be able to get Smash? Hey guys, you know what? Thing? Maybe we can we add Care Bears <laughs> for Smash? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're 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 going right for Smash. Like angry, really, really angry that not just the Ninja Turtles, but the perfect happy medium between proper 3D animation and suits from the original Ninja Turtles movies were the big surprise reveal characters for Injustice and angry. I, I just don't get this world anymore. In any case, the Turtles' legacy in the video game world is almost as strong and meaningful as their legacy in comics, cartoons, and toys. So I'd say. Were people mad that okay. they that, that the turtle models in Injustice took after the 90s suits? I actually they love the classic turtles. Just throw in some references to the NES games for laughing it. You mean the NES games that are universally panned? Well, it's the first wait, one that was, is, oh, wait, come on. The game oh, game oh, are the KMNT oh, games, like, really good? Way. Spicy like, Stevie Wonder says, Daddy will fight for Smash. <laughs> Okay, well, here's the thing. The only bad one of the Ninja Turtle games from that era was the first one. Battle Actually, that would be... First... Wait, Anything okay. by Rare is dead by this point. Everything yeah. by, everything by Rare should be disregarded, unless... Well, what about Killer Instinct? Wait, what's like, the issue with Rare? Instinct Weren't they, like, really... Wait. Yeah, but then um, they were spot by Microsoft. Yeah. Slacker, Slacker, what is the issue with, with Rare? I mean, they, they still got some good stuff. I don't see the issue with it. Well, yeah, no, it's not that. It's that... Shut up. Oh, the problem is that they're owned by Microsoft now, and even though Phil Spencer has said that he would love for Banjo and Kazooie to be in Smash and that he would give it that to them, there's there's no saying that they would give up the rights to any other characters. Plus, Sakurai would also have to say, "Yeah, I'll put them in Smash." So, um, that's I would like um, ukulele. Ukulele could be in. Did everyone just hate nuts and bolts? Yep. It but wasn't the same. Um, I actually yeah, I think that, uh, that ukulele might, like, would be ah, a better hey guys, option at this shut point. the fuck up or we're gonna be here all night, okay? Well, well, do you guys have any jobs tomorrow that you have to go to? Or any yeah, school or anything? Is it when you're Jewish? <laughs> Take it. Yeah, and then they could both fight. And also... This no. is stupid. Never, Bob. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> you stupid idiot. You Why never, 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 Bob. Who number ten? Guys, we found him. We found the one person on Earth who likes Action Fifty Two. <laughs> Bob just Why likes anything like that's old. It, and then number nine is and it's on the NES. Nine. He loves it. It's kind of a deep cut, but Cheetah Man was someone's idea for a Ninja Turtles knockoff that was supposed to get launched as a game, but instead wound up as the center. Holy crap, that animation was so cheap. I... I'm a real though. Cheetah Man's actually a cool concept. It could have gone well if not for the fact that the video game was trash. Yeah. Bargain multi game collection packs. Cult classic, not exactly, but it's a known uh... quantity, and I think people would get a kick out of this. Didn't try to use Goku! Would that even be logistically possible? Would that like be like legal like legally? Could is that is it could that be possible? Legally, no, yes, no. but again, it comes down to him being an anime character, not a video game character.
Look, I mean, he's been in video good. games, though. That doesn't like, count. Yeah. SpongeBob's also yeah, been in a video game. That doesn't mean he'll be in Smash. To, like, no. like, here's the thing. We can have Dirty Harry in since Dirty Harry had a video game. So does that mean he should be in Smash? No. no. Yeah, I would totally stupid. love. A, I would totally love to see Clint Eastwood's likeness in Smash Brothers. Oh, that was my day. Final Smash could be the um, juicy lucky no. thing. All right then. No. Actually, that could work. That could work. That not, could not, work. not really, it because really work. every single one of if you has anyone here actually played Dragon's Lair? Yeah, no. I it's basically I quick. It's basically QTE the video game. But it's from back in nineteen ninety three. Nineteen eighty three. Nineteen eighty three. Okay, Dirk the Daring could actually make a good character. I don't think you can do it because I think all the likeness is owned by Don Bluth, the animator. No, but um what would his moveset even be? Like just because he's in a video game doesn't like like what would his moveset be? His final smash. Like like all his moves on quick time. Smash those characters mind blowing back in the day, and it'd be a real trip for a certain generation of gaming fans to see Dirk in here doing his thing. Plus I, I you really think he was considering movesets, though? Oh, Gino okay, now he it. loses a point. Who's Gino? Gino? What's Gino he bad? from? Like, and that's why he'll actually... never be in Smash. Okay. What is, G Wait, what is Gino from, though? Gino Again, from that's Mario why RPG. he'll never be in Smash, because nobody because knows who the fuck RPG. Gino is. Okay, Gerard, well, the completionist, is obsessed with Super Mario RPG. Then how is he on the pause? Bandwagons exist. Okay, so anyway, the I actually if they did put another square character, Gina would probably be the most likely thing since he's basically the love he's the love child between Nintendo and Square. That's why I said that if Disney got back Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, then um, Nintendo could get back Gino. I think so too. Like it makes sense. They do that. They just should. Okay, Travis. Oh, Travis. You know what? Who the hell's Travis? Touchdown. Ooh. You know what, Bob? Oh. You know what, Bob? I'm gonna oh. give you a point for this. I'm gonna give you a point for this because I actually think Travis actually does have a chance for Smash. I oh, love Travis. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Who the, who's Travis Touchdown? Okay, Travis Touchdown. Playing, playing. Travis Touchdown is from a game series called oh. No More Heroes. It was developed yeah, by or... Suda Fifty One, and it was a Nintendo exclusive franchise. Yeah. Wait, was it No More would... Heroes like in a VR? Thing? No. No. no like, it was an action game. Like, here's no, no, I mean, but it takes like... place in virtual reality. No. No, no. It, Travis Touchdown is basically an assassin who no. wants to get laid. That's his whole deal. He's it, a guy it, it was who like buys the Wii, a... right? The Wii? Yeah, it was. It was a Wii exclusive for In fact, a long the other time day, I just saw a tweet from Chugga Conroy that said that No More Heroes would be, like, the one M-rated game that Chugga would want to do. I think No More Heroes, and also since there's a new game coming out, like, later this year, I think, with Travis Touchdown in it, in another No More Heroes game, yes, I totally think Travis Touchdown could be a good choice, and I think he would have been a better M-rated character to start off with than Snake or Bayonetta. Like, I would just say that... Well, I wouldn't, go, I wouldn't go that far, but I have a feeling that no, he's going to be uh, in Smash, even if he's only an assist trophy. Anyway, we got to keep going. Who is number five? Travis Touchdown. Let's find that exit they call paradise. What? Who is number five? Look, really? Look, who is number five? If the movie is any good or at least a solid hit, it could be a whole new ball game for this franchise. Ramp Wait, oh, Rampage? Rampage is an arcade game. That, that aside, That's his, his reason. I grew up in the arcade what? era. I just really want oh. to see George fight Donkey. Well, he, I really he, want to see before. George fight Donkey Kong. If that's the case, then we don't have to fight Donkey Kong. Maybe point for number four. Mega Man's already in it. Everyone well, from in. Mega Every, Man. Everyone from Mega Man. Every single person. Yeah, and Electro Man is already in it. Even freaking Dust Man. Is it dude named Dust Man? Man? I was gonna say Splash Woman. Splash Woman and, would just be doing uh, the like the fish Bob move, Man. like the worm. What if they put one of the robot masks from Mega Man 11 up like Capcom can just make a po monster hunter from Pokemon X and Y and Smash Brothers before the game even came out? Fine, that's great for them and their shareholders. But you and me and the fairy here. Not a slur. Actual correct descriptive term of identification for my species. <laughs> just to be clear. Oh, no, that's that was a great. This is trying too hard. Ways when it comes to Mega Man for almost a decade, and I contend that one of the biggest examples is that an arena battle game just for the dozens um, of Mega Man characters over the years would have been a huge deal and even a potential rival to Smash Brothers itself. And they never bothered to make one. So maybe it's because Capcom knows more than you do. 
I think that yeah, Tom didn't want to risk it with Mega Man restraining him. Please. Even if it's just like Proto Man and Guts Man. Please. I'll, I'll give you this. She's in Smash, though. She's in the yeah. background. It's a quarter of a point. It's a quarter of a point. So, she's look, that brings us up to like 9.5. 9.25. Oh, oh my gosh. Hey, <laughs> Number cool. two. Yes. Let's do something. Oh my hey, gosh. If nothing else, Pauline versus Daisy versus Peach versus Rosalina would be a hell of a thing to see on screen and especially to play. Uh. And we'd probably get a new Donk City stage out of it. I mean, I recognize we're probably going to get that anyway, but she should get in too. In many ways, she represents what made Mario Odyssey such a bolt out of the blue. <laughs> <laughs> That was a great image. Like, you know, he you made know a what? whole video where he, he made a whole video saying Captain N is the best cartoon show ever. Like that's his whole thing. He made Captain N Did he do this unironically? Episode. No, he no, he made a whole series like he made a whole not a whole series, a whole episode just talking about why Captain N is the best cartoon of all time. It's 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 it's, it's oh my god. It, okay, it's it's a it's a giant crossover, and I love giant crossovers, but it's a glorified it like, commercial. Yeah, it's I also, really like that. Also, Mega Man sucks in that. Also, Kid Icarus is a wuss, and they totally butchered Simon. Although, can I be real? It wouldn't be me if this wasn't right near the top, guys. I can't defend Captain N as a character, as a concept, as a product, as a thing, but man, it would just be awesome if he was in there. Is that wrong? Then that would be pretty just, fun. You know what? Uh, go ahead. Uh, if you're watching this uh, on VOD, pause it. Go watch the Nostalgia Critics review of this. And that's why he shouldn't be in Smash. Well, Aaron, yeah. hold on. Hold on. Hear Movie Bob's, like, delusional thoughts about it first. So you hear his whole weird things about it. And then see Nostalgia Critic. Like, that's how This isn't recommend. even a character! Oh. Yeah, this, this, oh. <laughs> that's his whole, like, you middle want finger. Taboo for Smash Brothers <laughs> Hey, Overwatch does have a story mode, and it's, and, it, and it's doing well, so it doesn't need a story mode. God damn I don't it. have a story mode, too, but I don't think everyone's yeah, here well, for yeah, story mode. Well, yeah, but you need because... an online connect. The thing about Overwatch is that even There's offline, it's... Time. The thing about Overwatch is that it's meant to be played online. Right, like, and it there's, was like, built... tie-in comics to Overwatch, it, right? It was built from the ground up to be an online game, just like Team Fortress 2 was. Well, but well, either, either, way, either way, though, story somebody mode. doesn't have to. I want to play as story mode. That's that's a character I want to play book. as. You play as a book. I, I want to play as Taboo. Remember Taboo? Oh, you know what? You say, you, you say I want to play as a book. That reminded me of like that one prop hunt thing I did. Hey, you want to play oh, as um man, the Winnie the Pooh storybook from Kingdom Hearts? So, I don't remember that mm -hmm. character. Yeah. No, I want to play as War and Peace because that's the longest novel ever written, and I would be a tank. Wait, I thought oh, Atlas yeah, War Strug and Peace, like, man. Wait, hold that's on. Great. I thought Atlas Strug was the biggest book ever, like the longest story ever. I want to play as a tiny. Fish. Brothers isn't really my favorite game in the world, honestly. Even though yes, it's ostensibly made of the bunch of my favorite stuff. I enjoy fighting games, but I'm not really that great at them, and I'm certainly no match for anyone who's even slightly above advanced button mashing in terms of skill. I play them as a fun couple of minutes to kill with friends and on my own. Actually, you know what? I'm kind of done with this. Well, here is reason, okay? Just here is reason. We're not here for that. We're here to mock his choices. Well. You hear his reason, and it's that's where you make fun of him. You hear him and see the research of him, and then that's why you mock him. You see, you see his. You, you see, uh, never mind. No, Movie Bob doesn't even research himself when he makes videos. I know, but it's so funny to see him fail. It's literally like a kid wearing a bucket on his head, and he peed himself, and then the kid says, I'm a big kid now, and then just pat the kid on the head with the bucket on the head, saying, of course you are. Putting in a real game overthinker, and those were my top 50 things that should be in the next Smash Brothers. I am And this has been five, these have been five idiots online making fun of you. Well, actually, technically, one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven of us. Seven idiots. No, six. Yep. Five. Oh yeah, because he was it hasn't been inside the hasn't been using his microphone. Sorry, could you? No offense. Okay, so five YouTubers.
Oh my gosh. What? So th that technically means Marvel now. Top 49 and Captain N is the number one character for Smash Brothers. <laughs> yeah, yeah technically that means he's still the number one choice. <laughs> There's zero one. chance of that happening. My okay. number two choices. My number two choices were Shovel Knight and Shantae in. And Those are realistic reasonable. choices, at least. I yeah, I'm not saying. I knew that Banjo Kazooie couldn't get in the game because rare. So I was thinking, like, hey, well, if Banjo Kazooie can't get in the game, maybe Ukulele because, like, they're technically, like, I also, don't know, inbred cousins. Also, with Goku, when he said, oh, Goku was in video games, is Nintendo allergic to fun? Are they allergic to money? Well, here's the thing. Just because, like, a character was in a game doesn't mean it's qualified. I mean, one of my favorite DS games in my of my time is basically the Thor movie tie-in game on DS. And that doesn't mean I say Thor should be in Smash Brothers, even though that would be cool. That would be a stupid choice in a stupid fantasy, even though I totally envision a trailer with Immigrant Song playing in the background. I play what? an Ice Age um, licensed game, and should one of those characters be Smash Brothers? Okay, I've Googled well, like Captain N, and, and I found dude, I like, an image. Dude, I, I have Bugs Bunny. I play like Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. Does that mean Daffy Duck should be in Smash? <laughs> oh, yeah, Daffy Duck would be the most OP Smash Brothers character, am I right? You're despicable. Anyway, I'm I mean, going to end the stream Duck because we've gone off topic long enough. I've been that American slacker. All right, have a good yeah. night, everybody. I, I am Mr. Marvel, and you all have a fantastic day. And I've been, I'm Silver Runner. Have a good one. I'm Chalice. I'm Kiva for some reason. I'm Chalice. I'm that guy who uploads lots of old tapes to YouTube for some reason. That's Captain Beezy. I'm Chalice, and Movie Bob has a lot of sins he needs to count on. I need to watch that video now. Louie Bob needs to be in an asylum, so yeah, you need help, Bob, if you're listening to this. So, thank you, everyone. Have a great rest of your night. No, they lock him in the asylum, but the asylum has an arcade machine, and it's all horrible. and all of us say this is the last thing we want to happen. Yup. Good night, Wait. everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. God, God bless. Good day. Goodbye.